Hi YouTube, how are you doing? And welcome back to Phasmophobia. They just did a new update for this game, which adds Steam achievements. Now, when I loaded up the game just a moment ago, I already got so many pings because I immediately unlocked eight achievements. And in this video, I thought we'd play a bunch of games, try and unlock some new ones, as well as show you the ones that are in the game right now. This is super cool, I'm very excited. And these are also not all the achievements they're planning to add. They're planning to add so many more in the upcoming update. So that's very exciting. But anyway, we're gonna have fun today. I hope you enjoy. If you're not subscribed, please do so. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. But let's not waste any more time. Let's hop into the game. Let's go. Okay, so first of all, these are the achievements I just got. I got them for bronze, silver, and gold trophy, which is this trophy right here. So if you already have done this, apparently you don't have to worry. They will retroactively apply them, so you don't have to do the whole thing again, because I know a lot of people have literally spent, like, countless of hours trying to get these trophies, so it would be a shame if you had to do that again. Now, then I also got the trophy for being prestige level 3, because I am I got prestige level 1, 2, and 3, and if you look at the achievements overall, that, that is actually the only prestige achievements we have. There's no more, uh, there, there used to be 20 different achievements for each and every prestige up to level 20, but because so many people were upset about that, including me, they got rid of that, which is really cool to see, so there's not achievements locked behind hundreds, if not thousands of hours of gameplay anymore, which is really cool. And then I got the other two achievements, which is bare essentials, unlock all tier 1, and then unlock all tier 2. I don't have the one for unlocking all tier 3, which I think is because I haven't bought this one yet, because I fucking hate it. But let's do that right now. Let's unlock ourselves the, uh, is that, and there you <laughs> I immediately get three more achievements. Look at that. What the hell? Oh, oh my god. It's all beeping. What's going on? I'm having a great time out here. We got cash cow spent 5,000. Oh, so that retroactively applied as soon as I spend some money. I see. Wait, I just got instantly got all of those because if you check my statistics, I have spent so many... Uh, look at this money spent 800k money gained a one and a half million by the way. Holy frick. Um, so yeah, wait, let's look, let's look more. So we got all four achievements right there of all the spending achievements. And then I also got unlock all the tier three achievements because that was uh, the one I missed. Now you get an achievement for uh, going against every single ghost. So let's just hop into a game and play something and then look at the uh, remaining achievements as well. I think we're going to just hop into Tanglewood real quick, go in on a nightmare mode mission and have fun. Alrighty, here we are. Uh, so let's see. What other what other achievements can we get right now? Definitely the achievements of getting... Oh, we, we need to do this after we, are le after we leave. We can uh, get a custom difficulty achievement for sure. Uh, and for every single ghost, we'll also get an achievement. And then there's really cool hidden achievements as well, uh, which I don't know why they're hidden. I guess I don't know why they're hidden because they're... they're they're not necessarily spoilers or anything, which are specific to the Demon, the Revenant, the Banshee, and the Poltergeist. I wonder if you can get this achievement if you play multiplayer by yourself. We'll have to try that after this. But anyway, let's just hop in here uh, and see what we can do. And I think there's also achievements for playing a bunch of co- What? Holy fucking hell. Why do I have 20? <laughs> Wait! Oh! Wait, I think what happened is that it actually saves the actual case number in the in the save file somewhere, but it never properly showed that. So now it finally actually shows how many games I've played. I have played 27,000 games of Phasmophobia. That is fucking insane. Wait, that's so cool. They had, Wait, so they did have this number the whole time. Why didn't they show us this shit? Wait, does that mean any of the statistics have changed to us? Uh... Because they now have the proper stats. Wait, that's so cool. <laughs> Total hunt duration, 57 hours. Time in ghost room, 256 hours. I've spent just chilling with the ghosts, man. This is freaking insane. Wait, that's actually crazy all right anyway uh we're gonna we're gonna head in there <laughs> we're, we're doing snow right we have snow weather right now uh so yeah if you still have any suggestions of achievements that they're not on here uh on the list feel free to share them in the comments down below because as the devs were saying they do plan on adding uh more achievements down the line so if anyone has really cool ideas they might add those i see a monkey paw right there i don't think there's any um uh difficult or achievements related to the cursed possessions if i remember we'll have to check again first of all i want to find the ghost hello ghost where are you hello hello what are you gonna be now something that people were uh, wondering about uh, me included there's achievements like this right escape a revenant what i assume is that these achievements only count once you leave the game because otherwise it would instantly spoil what ghosts you're up against hi there hello sir you're chilling you're gonna be my first achievement. How does it feel? 
You just, why are you looking? You're, you're admiring the pictures? Those are those are cute pets. All right, I'm gonna assume you're in this room then. I'm just hanging out with this ghost. It's extremely cold here. Okay, so living room is... Uh, EMA4. Living room is gonna be the ghost room. Let's get some more equipment in here. Um... Survive. I, I thought someone had a really funny idea. It was the broken nose achievement. Uh, have the door close while you're, like, trying to leave. So it smacks the door in your face. Uh, I thought that was a funny one that I saw in the comments. Uh, other ones, obviously, forgetting the key. Um, I, I personally really like taking a ghost photo of a phantom. I thought that would be a really fun achievement. Because that is, like, I want achievements to be something, like... Obviously, you can cheese that by just standing at the door and, like, waiting for the ghost to hunt. But that's not that big of a problem for me. Because achievements should be something that just, like, slowly unlocks. And, like, they're, like, experiences that everyone has at least once. Like, everyone has had an experience at least once. I've had it countless of times where uh, the ghost smacks the door in my face when I'm just trying to leave. Especially uh, now with the new, uh, like, invisible wall that immediately appears there. It's way harder. All right, we're going to have in this. And do we need to do any... I think we... A perfect game is an achievement, right? Isn't that an achievement? Let's see. Uh, obviously, all the ghosts are achievements, which we're going to do. Uh, we need to complete a weekly challenge mode. That as well. Uh, weekly tasks. Okay, daily tasks, I see. Completing all... I, I wonder if it's just going to give me all these contracts right away after we finish this one. Complete 50 optional objectives. That was a perfect game, right? It was all the way at the bottom. It was one of these. Complete a perfect investigation. Okay, well, let's do that one right away. Uh, we're going to grab this uh, and I guess the photo cam. Do we need to get a ghost photo? Man, I'm actually so happy that they finally properly... I'm assuming that's what happened here. I don't know why the fuck it would otherwise be this unless installing Phasmo on my new computer bugged out my case number or something. Uh, but I haven't touched that, so I don't know. Very cool, though. Uh, let's see. Hello there. How are you doing today? Where are you? Uh, let's drop this. Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you French? So it's still cold here. Is it not cold out here, for example? Just to test. Uh, wait, it's also it's even colder here. Okay, so actually the master bedroom is the real ghost room. Even though it is throwing stuff over there. So we're playing nightmare mode. Uh, what did you just throw? We need to get a perfect game here. I don't know what you just threw. Something. One of these things. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna risk the photo. Okay, let's place this in here. Uh, we need to check for orbs again. I also need to turn this off because it's making me lose my mind. Um, any orbs in here? We do have orbs. Okay, so just the breaker just turned off, right? Wait, what? Um, which means photo. I heard that. And that could... I don't think that actually gives fingerprints. But that should be a photo. Unless I get scammed. I did not get scammed. Let's go. Turn that stuff back on. Yeah, what's going to be our first achievement here? I don't know if we're going to get... We're probably not going to get all 24. Well, definitely not all 24 ghost achievements today. Uh, but we're going to get there. Or we're going to slowly get there. All right, so we have Orbeez. Uh, it's it's going to be a mimic. <laughs> get ready. Okay, mimic or a potential mimic with the orbs. Let's place this here. Uh, where are you, ghost? How are you doing? Grab this as well as this. Where are you? Are you here? Oh, okay. Very possible to be a mimic. Hello. Okay, so we have Mare, Yokai, on Rio. Um, if we also have freezing or fingerprints, it's definitely a mimic. That would be so fitting as our first ghost. Come on, man. Uh, now, we do need to get a perfect game, right? So cleanse, motion sensor, and escape. That should all be easy. Let's grab a smudge stick and a motion sensor that we can set up for that. And we can use all the salt to get all the photos that we can't fill up otherwise. I would love to get a ghost photo as well, just for the bragging rights. Let's do that. Uh, wait, they made these swingy again. Look at this. <laughs> Does that mean they push you again? Uh, yep, that definitely mean they, they pushes you. Oh, God. So you cannot move to the right. Like, I'm trying to move to the right as much as possible while holding this. It pushes me again. So, yeah, that is a bit of an... Anno but I guess it moves properly again. <laughs> oh, 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 boy. So, yeah, crouch running with a smudge stick is now going to be more dangerous. Ghost guy, thank you for the six. Okay, anyway. Uh, we have this, and then we need a motion sensor. Yeah, that's unfortunate. It's just weird that that is... Apparently, it's like a Unity thing where hitboxes are just messed up like that. And there's not... According to the devs, there's like literally nothing they can do to prevent that. It is what it is. Uh, can you give us a sign? Hello there, buddy. I have a smudge stick for you. I could cleanse you right now. Uh, but I think I'll just put this actually over here. Let's turn on some lights so we can run away from this ghost when it decides to hunt. Uh, there's no dying uh, X amount of times achievements, right? There is a die to demon achievement. 
which uh, we don't have a demon here, so that doesn't matter anyway. Um, can you give us a sign? Are you still here? We did not get the motion sensor. Is that because you're back here? Uh, ghost moved? Excuse me? What? Wait, are you here? Oh, there we go. Okay, we just got the motion sensor. Let's go. So you are still here. Okay, nice. Turn that back on. I think we're gonna, like, I mean, if we want to get a perfect game, the by far the best way to do that is grabbing all the salt, because the salt is absolutely insane. You can get, like, nine photos off of just a single thing that the ghost does. Uh, so let's grab those. I'm not gonna grab the crucifix, because I don't care. Uh, we're not gonna die. We have monkey paw, right? So we could wish the ghost was strapped, and then in 60 seconds, we're gonna get a hunt. Uh, I think that's a pretty good plan. I'm gonna place this right here because it's for sure gonna move through there. So you literally just stack all of them up <laughs> like that. Um, they didn't patch that? What do you mean they didn't patch that? And now we need to grab uh, the lighter, which is over here. I think we're all good. Let's grab this. I'm not gonna try and uh, shoot a photo during the hunt. That would be a little, little crazy. All right. Um, I wish the ghost was trapped. Excuse me? I'm gonna grab my photo cam as well. Um... Hello? I wish the ghost was trapped. There we go. So now that's going to lock the door of the ghost room. And it should also lock me in the ghost room. Uh, can you do this now? I wish to leave. Is this fixed? Is this fixed again? Nope, this is still broken. This is supposed to unlock every single door in the map. Which, why is there... Oh, that's my head cam. What the fuck? It scared the shit out of me. I thought there was a floating monkey ball behind me. Uh, I didn't already take the photo of the monkey ball, right? No, I've only taken one photo, so let's take that. So yeah, that still definitely does not work, but it is what it is. Uh, we need to find the bone as well, right? Um, because without the bone, it's not a perfect game. I have my lighter. Okay, just wanted to make sure. Bone is gonna be... Uh, I'm predicting it's gonna be in the little bathroom. For some reason, my bone is always there. I should probably not go there right now, because I'm gonna corner myself and then get killed. Let's just grab this. We could check the areas that are a little safer, like out here. Maybe underneath the table. Oh, that is so gonna be so annoying. The fact that you get pushed by the tier 3 smudge sticks again. Honestly, that makes the tier 3 smudge sticks the worst version of the smudge sticks, in my opinion. <laughs> Hello there. Okay. This is for Yokai. Hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Hello? Hello? Is he okay? Hello, hello, hello. Oh, it's slow? Okay, it's not a yokai. Unless. Unless. Wait, unless? Excuse me. Uh, yokai spotted? What the fuck was that? I didn't even escape the ghost because it's such a dumbass. Okay, uh. <laughs> oh! Hi. That was kind of spooky. That was, that was like marish, but it, the mare uh, ability where it turns off the light switch immediately doesn't count when it is a um, ghost event, by the way. Okay, so we got this, which means literally all the other photos. Uh, we don't need to get a bone photo unless this doesn't work. Uh, please just hope this works. It's a yokai. Our first ghost is going to be stupid. Let's see, did I get all of them? I did get all of them. Let's go. I mean... We're trying to get an achievement after all. Gotta make sure we get it. So our sanity did not get reduced at all by that, by the way. I'm gonna quickly get the bone before we do any more shenanigans with the uh, cursed possession here. Because we need to make sure that we get that. Is it in the bathroom? Was I correct? Oh my god, I was exactly correct. <laughs> I'm a freaking gamer, dude. All right, we got it. Uh, get the bone in the bathtub. That's got to be an achievement. I'm just kidding. I mean, <laughs> it's definitely something we've all encountered, though. Or get an impossible bone. That's another one we all encountered. Okay, so with that out of the way, let's just wish for sanity. I wish for sanity. Which what you have to keep in mind when you wish for sanity is that it actually changes the ghost room. So that is very important to know because it will move the ghost around. So we just need to cleanse and escape. Uh, so we're at 50% now. And our sanity is going to go down faster uh, because that's like part of the the evil genie effect of the of the wish for sanity wish that you it sets your sanity to 50 and it makes your sanity drain faster after that, which I feel like is just kind of random. So originally the idea with the I wish for sanity wish was that the wish was supposed to be like a restart. Like I wish to start anew was the original title of that wish and the idea was you change where the ghost room is you give everyone 100 sanity and then your sanity drains faster however in testing they found out that this was 
horribly overpowered, obviously, giving your entire team 100% sanity at the only cost of moving the ghost room. Oh, is fucking ridiculous. This is, oh my God, it's getting stuck behind things now. Okay, so this is totally a yokai, right? Or it's, hello? Hello, I need to escape you, sir. Okay, here we go. Um, this is definitely a yokai, it's extremely dumb. So we're gonna just loop it a little bit, smudge the ghost, throw this down, uh, and we don't really have to worry that it's gonna find us, because, I mean, it is a yokai. And we, there we go, we just did all of the objectives. Uh, th it's so insane that the uh, monkey paw does not trigger curse hunts at all. Okay, so we got the bone, so what do you need for, uh... Oh, what the fuck. What do you need for a perfect game in case you don't know? You need to have all three star photos. You don't need the ghost photo, you don't need the bone photo. It just has to be all three stars. You need to get the ghost correct, which unless we got turbo trolled here, should be a yokai. And you need to get all three objectives. If you do all of that, you should get yourself a perfect game, which let's put it to the test if the game is gonna recognize that. And I really wonder what's gonna happen with this fucked up case number. I don't think it's fucked up. I think this is, I mean, <laughs> I as I always say, like the number is super underestimated because it didn't count any of the games I played in like the first one and a half years of playing Phasmo. And I played Phasmo every single day for so long. Uh, oh, there we go. I got to complete a perfect investigation and successfully identify your first yokai and survive. I didn't see that that was added to it. So yeah, you do have to survive as well for that. There's nothing with playing on difficulties, is there? There's no like play on... Uh, nightmare, intermediate, or a custom difficulty with like a specific high reward. I guess the, um, I guess the, uh, the bronze and silver and uh, apocalypse trophy are kind of related to that. But I definitely feel like there should be an achievement of, uh, get the ghost correct while playing on nightmare mode. Get the ghost correct while playing on insanity. Uh, just to give the player an incentive. Uh, my game is freezing, by the way. Uh, bought an entirely new computer, 4090 and everything. Uh, still freezes. Thank you, Phasmo. Anyway, um, so I, I feel... There we go, finally. Uh, I feel like that is... Just not have, like, 100 achievements of, like, play one game on Nightmare. Play five games on Nightmare. Play ten games on Nightmare. 100 games. Like, I don't want to have so many of them. But just one, definitely. Just to incentivize people to at least try it out, right? Because... Achievements have both the goal of giving the player a reward for doing something cool, as well as incentivizing players uh, to do something that they otherwise wouldn't do to, like, get more uh, experience or, or experience something new in the game, right? So we just unlocked, let's see, what did we just get? Uh, Yokai, here we go. And we got uh the perfect game achievement. Where is it? Flawless execution, there we go. Is there any... So it didn't at all uh, count my... My oh, there we go. <laughs> That's, I was like, this is gonna be something that happens with that, right? Okay, yeah, we did. <laughs> oh my god, we're getting so many fucking achievements. I just got another. Uh, <laughs> what the fuck? Wait, uh, excuse me. Uh, my achievements. Here we go. I just got another one, two, three, four different <laughs> achievements. Complete 100 contracts. Why is there no achievement for completing one uh, 10,000 contracts? Come on, man. I'm just kidding. That would be fucking stupid. Okay, so I already got 19 out of 54 achievements and I've barely played the game. So next what we're gonna do real quick is get ourselves the custom difficulty achievement by uh, grabbing this one right here and doing a quick... Let's make... Let's. So what, what would you do when you... Or I guess it doesn't matter. Can I literally just do that? <laughs> Yup, dude, I I earned that one. I earned that one. Verbal, thank you for the ten dollar donation. That's so stupid. Okay, I literally just clicked the button and I got it. Uh, okay, ten weekly tasks, daily tasks. Those are gonna take a little bit more than just doing it uh once. Now we have haunt to all these ghosts. I mean, I guess we just hop into. Oh, we need to complete the training. Wait, wait, we gotta speed run the training here because it gives us an achievement. We gotta do it. Uh, do the training. Are you sure? Yes, I am. Uh, I, let's, I haven't Welcome done this. your first day at ghost hunting distribution. Read the whiteboard to get started. I haven't done this in a while. I don't know if anything changed. Let's see how fast we can do this. I'm gonna just ignore everything and run and see what happens. Okay, open the door. Boom, room one. Oh, we need to find the ghost room here, I think. It's the task. Let's see if... Oh. Oh, no. Oh, even the training freezes. Let's see if any of these items is gonna be moving around or if there's gonna be any freezing breath. Listen for the sounds. Do we even have to do anything, or can we just fucking run out of here? Oh, no, we can't. We have... Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. 
your BB is four minutes and thirty seconds. I'm assuming the ghost room is this right here. Do we have have to tell the game any? The door to the next section. Oh, there we go. There's the ghost room. All right. Thank you for ac ac acknowledging that I saw that. I guess. Uh, okay, we found the ghost room. Step one. <laughs> this is so stupid. I love it. Uh, and then we need to use sanity pills. I'm gonna eat all of them. They they help me, or they already Good tell. Job. Good job. Good job eating all the sanity pills, kid. Your team is really gonna love that. We're gonna try these well lighting. Done. Oh, I broke the breaker. Well done. You broke the breaker. What kind of things are they teaching us here? No wonder people suck at this game. Uh, electromagnetic fields. Okay, do something. Do something. I need to get an EMF 5. Come on, you piece of shit. Can you yell at this ghost? Hey, you garbage truck. You son of a bitch. I know you're a training ghost or whatever. But, uh, we're coming through here. We're quickly... Oh, there we go. Give me EMF 5. Nice work, dude. <laughs> <laughs> literally just get some oh uh, wait a minute how's okay no this is still the same uh that's definitely not how fingerprints work but all right then uh we'll always be with you wait a minute that's kind of sick there it is footsteps well done well done i'm insane with it oh freezing temperatures i remember this one so originally in this one there was a problem that the i'm just gonna actually use the multiple thermos um because they need to go down like <laughs> they, they take a while to go down dude we're this is not a speedrun. <laughs> you could definitely do this faster. Do I have to go just go into the ghost room? Which one is going down faster? This one's going up. That's definitely not it. Um, this one is going down as well. Okay, let's leave it there. Is this one still going down? This one is not going down anymore. This one then? Okay, here it's going down super fast. So I'm assuming this is the ghost room. Do I have to get a specific low temperature? What am I actually supposed to do here? Why is there no freezing breath, by the way? I, I really don't know why they didn't add the freezing breath to the tutorial. Because that is such an important mechanic of the game. That so many people get wrong. Yeah, this has got to be the ghost room, right? It's insanely cold in here. No evidence tutorial. Uh, challenge, difficulty level impossible. Okay, it's 5 degrees there. Let's see if this one got lower. I don't really know. Am I supposed to just leave? It's not telling me that I can leave. No. Um, I think I have to get a temperature to go below a certain Move amount. The there room. we go. Freezing temperatures. Without any freezing breath, by the way, which is really strange that they didn't implement that. But whatever, we got it. Um, dodge projector, which dodge projector is... Did they change this? Because this used to look so fucked up. Oh, no, it still looks fucked up. This is not at all what dots looks Good like. But <laughs> they're literally just gaslighting the fucking uh, poor players that are going to think that this is what dots looks like. <laughs> That's so stupid. I feel like they really should have just had a ghost walk around in its dots. Like, what if they just had a ghost walk around in its dot states permanently? Like, that would be such a better system than having these things. Like, you're gonna fool someone into thinking that's what they're looking for. All right, whatever. Uh, ghost orbs. Uh, any ghost orbs in the chat? I'm not seeing nice work. Any. Oh, nice work, apparently. I don't even saw them. <laughs> but the game thought I did. Okay, next one. Ghost, what if you just leave? I'm not gonna try this. Oh, no, we actually have to get ghost writing. Luckily, we have fucking four writing books, which you can't even get while you're playing the normal game. So we get four times faster writing. Gonna put this here, spread them out a little bit more, put that there. All right, write in the book, you bitch. Do it. Do it right now. There we go, easy peasy. Hold Open that. this door. <laughs> and then spirit box. Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Where are you? Insane with it. Good I, job. I got it. Oh, we need to survive a hunt, of course. Hunt. Here we go. We need to do anything. Now the hunt's gonna happen. You better hide quickly. What if you fucking die? I want to die in the tutorial. I wonder if they changed the way this looks. Can I just die? That's still insanely confusing. All right, whatever. You better hide quickly. Look at this, by the way. Look at the ghost walking past. It's so stupid. That was a close one. Hey, let's go! <laughs> no more trading wheels. Complete the trading, baby. I'm an insane gamer. That's how you get achievements. <laughs> All achievements speedrun. It's, it's sadly not possible because of the, like, weekly achievement. Literally, an all-achievement speedrun would take weeks. Because every week you get, like, it would take 10 weeks of just permanent gaming to get it right. Because you have to do 30 weekly objectives, which every week you get like three weekly objectives. Oh, wait. No, it would take even longer, no? Job's ready for you. Wait, let's see. Don't you have to do like a... Uh, complete how many weekly challenge? Yeah, it would take you 10 weeks. Complete the weekly challenge 10 times. It would take you 10 full weeks to do a speed run. 
Yeah, you gotta do that in one sitting. No sleeping allowed. You cannot sleep for 10 weeks. <laughs> anyway, uh, so yeah, that was just a fun little exercise. We got ourselves another one achievement. 21 out of 54 achievements here. Okay, what next? Uh, I think we're just gonna hop into a game and get another ghost achievement. These are fun. If we get ourselves a revenant or something, we'll get actually double achievements because we can escape the revenant. Okay, so let's test this. Let's go in multiplayer. But play alone, like um, because I and I wonder if that's gonna give you the banshee achievement. Like if you die against the banshee, will that work? Uh, I think we're just gonna be playing on on nightmare mode because there's no incentive for playing on different difficulties. But as they said, they're gonna be adding more achievements, which I'm super excited for that. Let's play on um, rich. You know what? I quickly have to test something. This is just purely for science. Uh, we're gonna do professional here because I really fucking hate Cam Woodwind, but it has to be done. Uh, in the patch notes, they said that they fixed uh, the fact that you can fly on. Oh my god, it's heavy rain as well. They f they fixed the fact that you can fly on this map, and as a certain uh, certified bug user, sometimes <laughs> I have to try this out. I'm a bug tester, okay? Can my game stop freezing? Thank you so much. Um, let's see, do we have there? Oh. What if that was a demon and I would have gotten the demon achievement right there? <laughs> okay, let's see. Uh, we're gonna try this. So... Oh no, they actually fixed it. Wait, what? Because it's supposed to... I think I'm just doing this wrong. It's supposed to land you on top of something. I'm gonna have to try this a little more, I think. I can't just... On Maple Lodge, it was actually easier. I love how... Oh, there we go. I love how long it took them to finally fix this, dude. You can still technically fly a little bit, but you don't land on anything anymore. You see that? I mean, that would have worked. That would have worked right there if there was an invisible wall still in place. But there isn't. So, the thing pushes you up for some reason. And then it... Uh, you would land on an invisible wall, but they got rid of that. So, yeah. Rest in peace, flying. Uh, it was fun knowing you, uh, but anyway, I'm not even gonna- why am I here? Ken Boudman fucking blows ass. Uh, let's hop into an actual map, such as- I need to not play single player, multiplayer, just to test. Um, it was so fun, man. I mean, it was very stupid and broken, so I'm glad they got rid of it, but still. Um, warning, crossplay with- uh, why is it a warning? Crossplay with other platforms is currently enabled? You warn us for the toxic Xbox uh, live chat. I fucked your mom. Trust me. Fuck you, piece of shit. Is that what people do? Why are they warning us? <laughs> anyway, I was watching uh, some uh, audit, audit the audit videos today, which is like a channel that like does police videos in the U.S. where like they they rate how the police like, respected people's constitutional rights and stuff. And the guy that got arrested, they, the police asked him, do you got any weapons on you? And he said, yeah, I got these nuts in your mouth. And I was like, what the fuck? They came, and it was like an old man. It came completely out of nowhere. I was like, dude, what the fuck? <laughs> that was so good. <laughs> Based. <laughs> and then they tackled him to the ground. No, they didn't do that. <laughs> but they... I mean, they were already doing illegal seizures and stuff anyway, so they might as well. Okay, uh, we don't have breakers, so we're just looking for any any ghost that's not a yokai. If you somehow manage to be another yokai, I swear to God, I will lose my mind. We got ourselves a summoning circle. We don't have to get a perfect game anymore, because there's only... Uh, you only have, like, one achievement for getting a perfect game. There's not many. Uh, I'm gonna go... Uh, do that. He went back, disabled all the cameras, and then Taser just nuts. Oh, you said the nuts were weapons! We had to make sure. <laughs> okay, we're gonna grab this, and a... Do we have to do anything? I mean, we would still do them, I guess. Oh, we get the... Uh, this, and this we get. And we can get this. Wait a minute. Easy peasy. And we could even do a crucifix to prevent the hunt altogether. Dude, absolute gamer moment incoming. Take the weapon from him, and then they chopped off his balls and put him in their mouth. No, I don't. That, that would have been a. Uh, that would have been questionable. All right. Uh, 
uh, take this photo. Take the photo. Always make sure to take this photo before you actually uh, light the summoning circle. It should be working now, but I still don't trust it. I don't trust it for shit. I didn't take a fucking lighter. I'm stupid. Put down the salt. Wait, you're actually so right. If we put down uh, three salt underneath this, we can actually like in instantly get a perfect game. Wait a minute. This could be the fastest perfect game of all time. Because if we place all of these, we still need a lighter. Uh, Silent Jester, thank you for the super sub. Thank you. Um, we will... I don't... I'm assuming this works. We're gonna have to make sure to get the lighter. And hopefully we're not gonna... What can happen here, actually? Yeah, that could still happen here. That the ghost decides to hunt while I... While I'm, like, lighting the summoning circle. And then it'll kill me right as I light the final candle. That could still happen and would be a total disaster. But hey, whatever. They didn't teach it in the training. Actually, what? Watch it about to be a wraith. That would be so sad. Uh, we're gonna take this and get that. All right, I think that's all. We'll grab just another smudge stick and put it. And it's it's kind of weird. It's back. It's moving again. Whee! Put that over here. Right there. We could smudge the ghost if we knew where it was, but I don't know where it is. So whatever. Uh, place this right. Oh my god, I'm getting pushed around. But this should stop the hunt, um, if all goes well, but all might not go well. We do need to find the bone as well, so here we go. Ah! Are you fucking joking? <laughs> this is fucking insane, dude! I'm actually gonna get a perfect game instantly. <laughs> Wait a minute. We just need to find the bone, that's all. Unless unless the game messes up- Wait, why am I getting so many interactions? Oh, there we go. Disturb salt. Boom. 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 That's all the photos right there. Perfect. Now all we need- <laughs> Wait, what? All we need is- Oh, our sanity, though. My sanity is fucked. Wait a minute. I mean, that's fine. We got a smudge stick, right? We'll be all right. There's no object- Wait, we could have gotten the objective of taking a phantom photo during a hunt if that was actually a thing. But- Oh, no, that's not the bone. I thought that was the bone right there. Uh, the other thing, by the way, is obviously they removed the Halloween event. But I'm assuming that everyone did the Halloween event. Like, I, I even made a special video about it. Uh, warning everyone that the Halloween event was going away. Uh, you better have done it. Yes, sir. Let's go. Okay. I think, we, I think we're good. <laughs> I mean, unless this was a mimic. In which case, uh, Turbo Trolled. That should be an achievement. That should definitely be an achievement. I cannot believe it. Uh, 20, 20, that I've played this many fucking games, dude. <laughs> that is... <laughs> I should touch some grass. Hey, there we go. Successfully identified your first phantom and survived. Look at that. Bada bing, bada boom. Nice. We're getting there. Uh, we're gonna... We already got all the prestige achievements, so we don't need the prestige anymore right now. And I also kind of want to do a special all maps challenge again. Because I think if we do an all maps challenge every three prestige... Then, uh, I feel, I feel like that's all right. Because I obviously can't do it every prestige, right? Because then we're just never, we're only going to be doing all maps challenges. But it's been a really long time since we've done a mega challenge. It, obviously, the last one was when we reached level 16,000. Which, um, <laughs> I thought this was really funny. I got comments, uh, I got a few comments on my YouTube videos, on my, on my recent ones that were like, I don't understand. I was watching a video just like a few minutes ago and he was level 16,000 what happened and then another video he was like level 11,000 poor guy was so confused it was like what happened <laughs> then I thank you for the eight he had no idea dude uh no music box yeah in case you're that guy uh there is no more mega high levels like that because they changed the way the Experience works. No longer do you just get levels until eternity. Uh, you now get... Oh, we got another one of these. Uh, you now only get levels up to... A, well, you can get up to a thousand, right? But you get, you get levels up to a hundred, and then you can prestige and get levels again. Which, when you prestige, it resets your levels, your money, and your equipment. Uh, so you can just play through the game again. I'm gonna lock the ghost room. Um, I wish the ghost was trapped. I wish the ghost was trapped. There we go. Okay. Uh, so all the, this is actually Willow might be the only small map. 
I think it is the only small map where you cannot possibly wish the wish to, for that the ghost was trapped in such a way that no doors will lock. Because if you wish it here, all these doors will lock, uh, which is because you are in this room. If you wish it here, that door will lock and you're locked inside the house and this one as well. Uh, so yeah, it seems like it's not at least in the garage. It's not in the kitchen, the living room, or the garage because any of those doors would close. Now, obviously, we can't... Oh, no. The breaker's in the basement. This could actually kill me here. Uh, I should probably grab my... Actually? Ah, whatever. What's the worst that could happen? Uh, let's put this on. Just make sure. Harry, thank you for the 25. Um, so we're hoping for anything but Phantom and Yokai because we want to see new ghosts here. Uh, the Mega... I mean, me if you've never watched a Mega Challenge, there's so many Mega Challenge videos on YouTube, by the way. They're all insane. Uh, they're where I... Every thousand levels, I would do... Oh, here we go. In the basement. Normal speed, I think. Every thousand levels, I would do a special challenge run to earn my entry into the new thousand levels, where I would do one challenge, one different challenge on every single map in the game. Um, and then once I completed that, I would... Just keep leveling from there until I reach another thousand, and then we do it again with different challenges. Why are you so slow? Wait, what? Wait, what? There was no sold, right? Wait a minute. Is this a Hansu? Slow twin? Hansu or twin? I think those... Those are the only options. So we didn't even lower our sanity here, which is kind of fucked up. Okay, some some fishy shenanigans happened there. We're gonna quickly uh, go down into the basement, I guess. Uh, slow Moroi could be slow Moroi as well. It's more so we know it's not gonna be a Yoko or Phantom because none of those could do that. Um, is this door gonna be locked? It is locked. So this is the ghost room, and we have EMF five, which immediately means it's basically twins, <laughs> right? Twins is the only ghost that could do that. Easiest game of my life. Right, because Jin couldn't do that. Obaka couldn't do that. So much EMF5. Uh, I'm just going to leave then. Goodbye. Uh, we could do... No, I hate these. I hate Paramike Objective. I'm not going to do that. Uh, can we actually... We can't. There's no way we're going to do all 24. But this is so fun. It's like a collect your... Um, collect them all. Got to gotta get them all. Got to catch them all. Pokemon style. Got to get all those uh, different ghosts. This should really, you know what? Holy shit, this would be so cool. Um, so you know, if you've looked at the achievements, by the way, they're absolutely amazing. It should be this, right? What else could it be? Am I gonna get trolled here? I can't get trolled by a Mimic, because Mimic wouldn't have... Um, there you go! Couple of successfully identified your twins. So if you didn't already see these, uh, look at these objective, or look at these, uh, these icons. They have super cool icons for every one of these that are really fitting to the ghost. Like Banshee over here has got like sound waves like a scream demon obviously with the horns dio with the third eye uh, dots you can see it really but the gorio has like dots around it haunted with the freezing stuff etc etc every single ghost is like a super cool icon describing their special ability or their special personality so uh what i thought would be really cool is if they add like a special board to the lobby here um that has like a little like you know how your your character has like an emblem on it like a like a scout badge like a Boy Scout badge, kind of. Uh, what if they did that for all the different ghosts? And you had, like, a, a board where once you have c get a ghost, it, like, puts that achievement thing on the wall. And then if you collected them all, you have this, like, nice plaque of all the all the different ghosts that you've encountered. Uh, because I really like the I really like the icons they use for these. And I think they that just having them in the list of achievements isn't good enough. And I really like what they're doing here because it's super unique. Like... Uh, I really like what they're doing in Phasma, where your lobby is just turning into this, like, trophy collection, right? Um, this, like, for example, this is something really cool to have, like, this, this, this emblem right here that we reached levels, as someone was saying, why is he level 16,000? Because the, the, the level I reached, uh, was 16,000, or 16661, um, and then they reset it on August 17th, uh, and as similarly with all these trophies, you slowly build up, like, your, your, or like trophy cabinet, which is really, really cool. And as on top of that, you have all these different emblems. Uh, wait, I, this is a little fucked up. All these different emblems that you can get. The prestige emblems, the Christmas, the Easter, the Halloween. This is a content creator badge. Um, that's this red one, which I, is also really cool, but I'm just using... Actually, why not that one? Uh, that one with this. I actually really like this color. I really think this one is sick. Can I... Oh, you can't mix and match all the way, though. 
Like, I can't choose my emblems and then pick a color. Like, you have to pick the color from the emblems you pick here. Uh, Ghost Hunt and Halloween. Anyway, uh, let's uh, hop into another game. So that... Oh, I was still playing professional. I mean, didn't really matter there because we didn't get a single evidence. But let's hop to... Let's just do all the maps. Uh, we'll do Edgefield next. Well, at, at least all the small maps for sure. Isn't that the apocalypse badge? There's no apocalypse badge, sadly. I wish there was. Uh, that'd be really cool. Right, we yeah. got Jerry Elliott. I get getting deja vu. Isn't that a name I literally just had? Uh, grab this. Grab this. It's gonna be so fun. I wonder if there's gonna be many people returning for these achievements. I definitely... <laughs> I just... I really think achievements are... Like, very fun. If, if they're well done. And I think, like, some of the achievements are very well done. Some of them are very, like, basic. Like, the do 100 contracts achievements, right? Those are very, very basic. Uh, but the fact that they're... They have definitely shown that they can do, like, very unique, cool achievements. Like, these ones, I think, are all all very on theme for that ghost. This one is maybe a bit... I think they should change this to um, get an ability within... Like, get hunted by a ghost in general within the first minute. I feel like they shouldn't do it, like, specifically deep. Not only is it specific, that's like the most RNG achievement out of all of the achievements in the game. Because not only do you need to get a demon, but you need to get it to use its ability in the first minute, which is really rare. And then on top of that, you also need to die, which means you have to play bad. <laughs> so yeah, it's like really hard to get. Death speed run. Like obviously you could, well, you can't really cheese it, right? Because it says that you need to, oh, EMF5, look at that. It says that it needs to be a demon ability, so you can't just set like your sanity to zero and just keep running into a game over and over again killing yourself until you hopefully get killed by a demon like even that wouldn't work <laughs> play bad easy i mean i've died so many times i've died 311 times i mean if you consider that i've played seven twenty-seven thousand games i feel like that's a pretty good kill death ratio <laughs> Um, so yeah, I mean, these stats are obviously not complete, right? I died so much more because you can see right here that they're not aligned at all because the ghost identified or misidentified identified like all these the, the rounds here um, are not aligning because if you add both of these up that is not even how is this so much lower than the actual amount? It's very strange. I wonder how this count works. I, I don't think it is actually this high. Like, I, it's, I, it's not me being copium. Like, uh, trust me, guys, I, I'm not that addicted to this game. But I genuinely, that, that seems, a, it seems like, it seems 10,000 too high. Like, uh, 17,000, I could believe. 27,000? That's insane. I mean, maybe I'm really that fucked, but. <laughs> I don't know. It feels a little high. <laughs> I'll ask the devs about that. Maybe they know. I mean, obviously, my case number is going to be a little higher because I make YouTube videos. So, like, I've made, like, 1,200? Oh, 1,200 YouTube videos or something. And for every YouTube video, I make thumbnails. And a lot of the time when I make a thumbnail, I just go into a map. Is that a twin interaction again? Are you fucking joking? <laughs> Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Where are you? Are you, I think that was a true interaction, you piece of garbage. Um, so yeah, for, for thumbnails, I go into a map and then I just leave it because I've gotten my gotten my screenshot that I needed. Uh, so yeah, there, there's probably a lot of cases that I didn't actually end up playing. So that's my excuse. <laughs> Trust me, mom, I didn't play that much. I did my homework. Uh, are you in here? So you are actually in this room then. Yes, okay. Uh, so let's try sphere box in here. Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Where are you? Are you here? Are you- This is strange. It should be freezing then, right? If it's twins? Maybe it's in this room? Did I- I turned on the breaker though, right? Yeah. So it can't be- it's, It is touching far away from the ghost room. Oh, this one's also cold. Aha, maybe new ghost room here? This one is going way lower than the other one. Did it just turn on the light switch? Or turn it off, maybe. Um... Grab myself a spirit box, try this in here. Where are you? Oh. Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? It's so gonna be freezing. No. Uh -huh. This ghost is like exhibiting such classic twin behavior, dude. Like the the thing that if you don't hear twin interactions, which I think I already heard one. I mean, unless this is just a really fucking excited ghost. But it's touching here, it touched this this shower, then it touched that. And then it touched something in this room. Like, it's touching stuff all over the fucking place. That's, like, the, the thing that is 
really suspicious for twins because they have a way larger range of interacting with with stuff uh, so yeah, very could very much be a twin. Uh, you know what? We might as well uh, grab ourselves a cursed possession, whatever it is. Is it gonna be? Are you fucking? You're not even trying to hide it. <laughs> you absolute. Unless it's like a wraith or something that's like teleporting to me. But yeah, this doesn't seem correct. Uh, we're gonna cleanse the ghost and take a picture of the ghost. We can try to take a picture of the ghost. Do we need? We need to do a lot of optional objectives for that one, uh, don't we? There's like one thing. Uh, 50 optional objectives. Yes, so we should try and complete as many objectives as possible. So let's, uh, actually make sure that we get these. So we're gonna grab ourselves a photo cam. This has gotta be a bit iffy, but we'll see. Uh, grab this, this, and a photo cam. So that we can take a ghost photo, um, during the hunt. And then hopefully not die. At least that's my goal. All right, we're holding on to this. I don't really need this, but it's fine. Okay, here it goes. First, we break this. Well, that was fast. <laughs> Slow. <laughs> it's such the twins, dude. You're trolling. Here we go. Get the photo. Did I get that one? Got him, run! I didn't even use much, much. Whatever, it's fine. Oh, just fucking go. Just fucking go. You can't find me. You can't stop me. Maybe you can. I okay. <laughs> Alrighty then. Whoopsie daisy. Uh, there's no achievement for Insta Harpin, but they definitely should add that. That was not entirely. How the fucking. So we got three different ghosts and we already got a repeat? This is why I won't be getting all of the ghost achievements today <laughs> because uh, that would be take f like I don't even know like a hundred games to get all of them there we go two twins we got two twins in a row I mean they're twins after all uh it oh, I didn't switch the oh, whoa, 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 whoa. you know what I can do I can yeet this at the ghost's face That'll be the easiest achievement of my life. There's no achievement for finding bones, is there? Uh, just smudge this and run and throw it out there. Oh, come on! You dickhead, where'd you go? Where'd you go? I have another one. You were in that room just a moment ago. Do I have to hold it for it to count? What if I just wait for my sprint and then smudge here and then run? Run in here. Running here, here, go, 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 go. This should burn quite a long time, right? I smudged. The there we go. So the range on the smudge stick is absolutely massive. That should have worked. <laughs> but that's a good example of why you shouldn't. When I do something like a spirit test, right? Which is where you smudge the ghost and then wait for like three minutes before or see if it. How long it takes before it hunts again. Um, you need to, I usually do that while, by smudging during the hunt rather than smudging outside of the hunt because it's really hard to know if you actually properly hit the smudge stick because even if you did it in the ghost room, look at these, uh, these payouts, by the way, that is very clean. Why am I, not, okay, there we go. I was like, why is it not adding items? Let's do our first farmhouse map here. We gotta get another ghost, right? So we have, uh, we're already almost halfway through the achievements to complete 10 weekly tasks. Man. Why am I? Excuse me. What? What? Why is this on the screen right now? What? That shit. I'm walking. I'm walking without hands. Look, mom, no hands. I'm auto walking. If you, it's actually a, a like a completely useless trick. But if you hold the W key and then open your Steam overlay, it'll keep walking you forward forever without you clicking the W key. If that is something you needed for whatever reason, now you know. Team sabotage. Okay, ghost, how you do? I keep forgetting my hit game. How is that possible? It's 27, 26. Yeah, I, I don't know if it's true. I, I feel like there is too many. <laughs> but I'll have to ask the devs where they got that number from. Like, how this number suddenly changed. I think, I think what happened, so there used to be a bug. I heard this here, by the way. Uh, there was a bug for a while. I mean, it was only there for a week, but it completely changed my statistics forever. I, at least at the time. It's now slowly normalized over time. But there used to be a bug where if you finished a mission 
for some reason, it would count the cost of all the equipment you used during that mission on top of your money spent. For I don't know why. There wasn't even in the time. There weren't even co consumables at the time. So it literally just acted as if all your equipment were consumables, and every match you would buy them all again. So my my statistics used to be completely fucked. My money spent like. 300k of this money spent shouldn't be here because it's literally just me playing a bunch of games with all the equipment and every time I finished a game it would just add like 10,000 money to the money spent for no reason so yeah uh maybe something similar happened with the um with the case number where like for some reason if there, there was like a specific bug at one time where it like added 10,000 cases to your I don't know to your play count I don't know why it would do that, but you never know with Phasmo. Yeah, so the, I mean, the case numbers that we had were all from, like, so there's definitely missing cases. Uh, because the first ha one and a half years, or maybe even longer, were not included in the case numbers. And I used to just play Phasmo every single day for, like, one and a half years, like, for four to six hours a day, which was obviously a lot of games especially because back in the day there was only professional so every game i would just walk in get three evidence walk out and gg easy where are you are you here are you close get from here close to busting or what now where are you are you here are you close say it are you close where are you close to busting <laughs> See? What did I say? <laughs> what did I say? <laughs> I don't know what it's supposed to say, but that's... Uh, <laughs> it definitely sounds like close to busting. <laughs> Alright, where are you for real, though? Are you gonna do something? Close to what now? Oh, we got riding already? What the fuck? I'm insane. Okay, this is gonna be new ghosts for sure. Moroi, Dio, Spirit. Wait, if it's a poltergeist, we can get the poltergeist achievement. Wait, please be a poltergeist. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Because the poltergeist achievement is for uh, getting a... Seeing the poltergeist ability. That would be sick. Close to a bus lane or something? Bus station? I don't know. <laughs> that was awesome. Ulti ability. This is going to be fun. There's a new ghost? No, there's not a new ghost. There's steam achievement. And some of the Steam achievements are tied to specific ghosts. Like, if we get a Revenant, that's going to be sick. Um, we Are we playing single player again? I don't know. So I don't need anything anymore. We're going to grab ourselves the... What do we need? Crucifix, Incense, Paramike. All right, we'll grab a Crucifix. Uh, we'll grab a Paramike. And I guess we'll grab some Salt. Close to giving Ectoplasm evidence. That's... <laughs> you're fucked up. All right, can you give us a sign? This is Gamer, thank you for the Prime, and Nova Escape, thank you for the 7. Okay, I'm gonna just place this randomly around, just making sure that you stay in this room. Should have probably stacked that up, but it's okay. Alright, you're doing all kinds of stuff. Can you give me a pair of mics? Oh, come on. Ooh, wait a minute. Oh, you! Whatever. <laughs> I don't care. I mean, I do. <laughs> Who am I kidding? Fuck you. Uh, I definitely got the photo, though. That should have at least been, like, a two-star ghost photo. Oh! I got it. Okay. I got it. I got it. <laughs> I got it that time. Nice. Okay. Anyway, uh, bear my crucifix. Place that crucifix. Wait, am I dying? Holy fuck, that's terrifying. <laughs> Did you see the shadow of the dots there? I couldn't see it at all. That was awesome. Okay. Uh, anyway, incense. We don't have an incense. We do have a paramite. Can you talk to me, please? We're gonna. We're trying to get as many optional objectives as possible. Uh, cursed possession was what now? It'll be tarot cards, not tarot cards. Did we see it already? Oh, it's mirror. Mirror on the wall here. Not in a picture. No, it's not a phantom. Um, you can see that as well because, uh, yeah, it's hard to see, but you can see that this photo is still distorted, right? There's, like, a blur effect on this. That blur effect would not be there. Similar here, you can see there's, like, a blur effect. Here, you can see there's no blur effect at all, right? It's a really clear picture, this one as well. If there is no if there is no blur effect and it says ghost, 
Like, if this photo said ghost three star, there's no ghost as well as no blur effect, then you know it's a phantom. If it also disappeared at the, like, at that moment, obviously. Uh, come on. Stupid. <laughs> stupid dots projector. Get 10 ghosts correct in a row. I mean, those types of achievements are pretty good. Or, yeah, I, th I think those would be neat. Uh, let me just quickly go turn on the... Um, turn on the breaker. As well as maybe get the bone, even though there's no bone achievement. There's it. There it is. We don't need a perfect game anymore because it's already got fucked. When are we finally going to get the ability to delete photos, dude? They've been teasing this shit for so long now. And they just never add it for some reason. This should be such an easy mechanic to add. Literally just add like a single button. And if you click that button, it just removes the photo. How hard could it be? The neighbor is. Thank you for the seven months. Like, what the hell? I can see the chat. I can see all the chats. Uh, can you give us a sign? All of them. That photo. I mean, you can still take these photos just for the hell of it. Wait, you used a crucifix! Ah, fuck. I took that too. I should have known by the- If I saw this burning crucifix or a photo here, I should have known that the interaction was already gone. That's on me. Um... I don't think it's a poltergeist, unless it... In before we already got a poltergeist ability... Oh, hi there. What the fuck? It was standing for a second, and then it's it got to its knees. Um, I should be careful, because if this is a moroid, then I am so close to dying. You know what? You know what I'm saying? Right, I'm gonna grab a smudge stick, because we also need to do this one. Need to get 50... I don't think we're gonna have 50 optional objectives. That's insane. We got Eva. I just I keep seeing this number and being like, something's wrong here. Um, okay. Anyway, we got this. Deadwing, thank you for the 16 and Shion. Thank you for the 26. Smudge during a ghost event. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was saying that should be an achievement as well. I can't wait for them to, like, add more achievements that you can actively get, right? Like, obviously, you can get the you can get the ghost achievements, but actively... Did you turn off the breaker? Oh, you didn't. Um, did you use the crucifix again? You did. You stinky. Do I... Looks like both. All right, there we go. So it is hunting a lot. We're gonna hear the speed. Let's turn this light on. We're gonna be able to test for poltergeist here. Um, seeing if it moves a lot. Removes a lot of items. That's how we test for poltergeist. Just throw a bunch of items on a place where you can loop the ghost. But you do have to know how to loop the ghost. It's not that difficult. Just make sure you're not holding like a tier 3 smudge sticks. Because it's going to prevent you from crouching. Don't you do the airball ghost tonight, you stinky. Wait, it did it like twice? Fuck. Come on. Where's my, my smudge stick is over there. Alright, this is more than enough items to see if it's a poltergeist. It's going to be very, very clear. Uh, can you haunt us? And you give us a sign. If it's a Mora, it's gonna be so fucking fast. I don't even know if I can get away fast enough if it's Mora, but we'll see. Uh, hello? Turn on this light. Wait, the light's already broken? Interesting. I don't remember you breaking the light, but I guess I was just not paying attention. Uh, you give us a sign. Ghost, please, what's your name? Eva. Eva? Eva? Whatever it is. This update just achievements. Yeah, it's achievements of bug fixes. And a lot of safe spots. There were so many safe spots in um, in the new Maple Lodge map that they fixed now as well. And they, we need to go to Maple Lodge because we need to check the, the return of the the Blair Witch Easter egg. Because that was gone for a while. Can you fucking on me? Hello? Alright, this is gonna get me killed because... Um, the hunt's gonna last way longer, but... Okay, this can't be a Moroi, right? Oh. Wait, it's not a... Hello? Hello? It's throwing lots? Stupid. Coming? Here it comes. Come on, be a poltergeist. Holy shit. Oh, it's walking through it slow because of the salt. Wait! Wait! Wait, it's actually a poltergeist! I think so! No! I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Okay. 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 
It doesn't know Pepe laugh. Dude, we can actually get the Poltergeist achievement. So, we're gonna have to get our sanity back, though, because this is very dangerous right now. And we have to get another uh, crucifix in here. And then we just throw, make the biggest pile of all fucking time. <laughs> and, wait, whoa, whoa, this is gonna be so sick. <laughs> we just throw, like, so many items. Uh, on top of it, of, uh... Of the ghost room and then see what happens. Okay, so I'm just gonna I already broke the breaker We don't need to get a hunt anymore, right? We just do three which will give us we're playing nightmare that would give us 75 uh, Why not just all of them just take all of them uh, and then nothing other uh, the crucifix I guess crucifix and I guess this let's go mega throw Here we, we might have to wait a long time for this, but this is super cool. I want to see this. This is exactly <laughs> This is why I love achievements, because now we're gonna be like, oh, wait, we can do something special here because we have a specific ghost. Like, it's not even that bad that there are RNG achievements, there just need to be more achievements so that, uh, it sucks that you broke this light, though. And you, are you still here? Let's see. Where are you? Close next to me. Okay, so you are still here. We're gonna grab all the shit and just make the biggest pile of all time here. Let's see. Is it still here? Where are you? Are you here? It's far and wide. It's still here. Okay, so our huge pile is in the right spot still. Please don't do it while I'm gone. I would be so upset. I have become Polter, the destroyer of items. Oh god. Hi. Hello, sir or lady. I mean. <laughs> okay, we we we're just preparing for you. We're making your favorite dish here. It's a huge pile of items. I'm making your dream sandwich. Look at this. It's so many things. This right here. <laughs> Look at this. I want to see it explode. Because if we leave too much, we're going to miss it. This is like, I don't even know, 40 different items or something. Come on, ghost. Do it. <laughs> Give us a sign. Wait, we can we can smudge it. But I think it can do the it can do the polter ability while we're gone as well. We just need to make sure not to take our eyes off of this. Because if we do, turn this shit off. And then it immediately did it. Imagine. Um, if we take our eyes off of this, we're gonna miss it. Because you know these fucking poltergeists are gonna do their stupid ability. Come on. I wonder how this is gonna... Oh, that was a... That was a huge throw already. There, he's warming up. Or she's warming up. No, don't shake. Just, just, just pretend... Oh! Another big throw! Dude, stop teasing! Stop teasing. Do the big one. We all know you want it. We know you want to explode. Go Oppenheimer on this bitch. Come on. You know what? I, th I think I know the solution to our problem. I think I think we need... I think this, pu this pile needs caulk. Without caulk, it's not going to work. Let's grab some. See, this is what it needs. It needs some 25 times powerful caulk. And now it's going to work. You... You peas! Why? Smudge. Smudge and hide. Oh my god, the smudge stick pushes you now. It's throwing all the fucking I, I shouldn't die here, right? Unless they fi unless they change this. We're fine. We we lived, but you really got to you you threw a bunch of items. You threw the cock off of the pile. You sneaky? Come on, man. Are you close? Are you friendly? I need death. Oh. That was my voice, I think. Where are you? Are you here? Uh, it's a ghost event. Come on. Do it. Do it right now. Eva. Eva, come on. E no! <laughs> What does a man have to do to get a polter ability up in here? I'm gonna die! Okay, there we go. Come on, come on. Where are you? Still throwing stuff- Wait, where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Don't tell me you changed ghost room. I swear to fuck. Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? 
Where are you? From behind. No, you changed ghost room, you sack! Okay, well, we're gonna have to move items. Oh my god, what are you doing? You piece. You piece of garbage. Where are you? Are you here? You're not even talking to me anymore. Where are you? Are you here? Are you clo close? Okay, so you're in that room. Ah! This is fine. This is fine. This is fine. Yes. Here we go. Don't hunt me. It's gonna do it when the pile's not finished yet. You already know. Please, don't you roll away. Ah! No! What? I didn't hear shit. What happened? <laughs> Wait, I genuinely didn't hear anything. I just died. <laughs> Did I get it at least? <laughs> did it? Did it? Did, did, did genuinely? Are you fucking joking? You did it though! Ability use one! Wait, huh? Where's my achievement? Do you have to survive? Where's my achievement? Where did it? Oh, you have to see it! You have to be close enough for it to work! You did it once! One ability in fucking 32 minutes? Are you kidding me? This is a fucking scam, dude. All right, well, unlucky. We're gonna have to get another. No, I did do it! There we go! <laughs> you suck, man. I hate you. <laughs> that would have been so cool if you just did it. You're so annoying. Okay, but at least we got the achievements. God damn it. How did I win this? I Sorry, I guess it was just like a little pile next to it or something but jesus christ man that was so stupid 32 minutes one pulser <laughs> really not okay well we're still gonna do it again if we find another pulter uh because i don't count that one that that achievement is we, we 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 didn't properly get it we were not meant to see it she was very she was shy all right he didn't want us to see the bolter ability. Okay, I, that also shows you, by the way, the problem that's in the game right now, which is that the sound is horribly bugged. And I think it's intended, but we're gonna keep calling it bugged and complaining about it until they fucking fix it, because holy shit, is it so bad right now? It is, um, the sound of the ghost when it hunts only starts playing once the ghost is out of its grace period, which means if you don't have an electronic in your hand, you will literally die instantly without anything you can do about it because the sound is literally playing at like like five percent of the actual volume of the of the, the like hunting sound um in the first like five seconds of the hunt which means it's basically impossible to to know where the ghost is hunting from and get away from it in time which is obviously extremely stupid uh okay it's in the hallway over there i did just use it twice um yeah, I really hope they're gonna fix that soon because it's insanely annoying. There must be so many people that are dying right now that have no idea why. Because there's like no, like if you don't know this game very well, you're just gonna like either blame yourself or just be like, well, I guess I have no idea what I'm doing in this game. Oh, another incident as well. It's not an Oni, guys. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I don't, so I think the idea behind this change is that they made sound slowly fade in and slowly fade out. But because they made it work that way, that means that if the hunt starts, the sound slowly fades in. So in the first, like if you're playing on a difficulty like this where you have short grace period, the sound won't be playing yet by the time it's already killing you, which is stupid. <laughs> okay, take this. Um, we're gonna sprint. Oh, yeah, I hope that that one as well as the light fix will be coming very soon because those two things are Like hurting basically everyone playing the game right now like the light being this dark as well as the sounds just being far too quiet especially when the hunt starts Because Like I'm getting tired of just getting killed by a ghost. I couldn't even hear Hunts on top of you. I mean, there's ghosts that can li literally hunt on top of you based on their abilities, right? Like Wraith and stuff. Which is very strange. Yeah, the game it's the gaslighting the game. Sometimes. You don't know if you should blame yourself for the game. That's the that's the, the upside of playing of having played it this many times. Is that I kinda know when I can blame the game and when I have to blame myself. <laughs> uh 
So I don't I don't feel bad. Yeah, so the lighting right now it's uh, it's a bug. Or it's not a bug, but it's not intended. You can see right here how just like the shadows are like fucking pitch dark. Like every if there's a light source and it hits it hits something, it just like it's complete darkness. Like in this room for example, the light should be bouncing off of stuff and hitting this part, but this part is just like it's completely invisible in there. You see that you can't see the smudge or the glow stick whatsoever. <laughs> That's the problem. But yeah, anyway. Uh, we know these things, the devs know these things, and they're going to fix them. I mean, I hope they know the sound issue as well. I know they know the light issue. Uh, where are you? Are you here? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Are you French? Are you still here? Is it cold? It's very cold. But no orbs, no spirit, box, oh... Wait a minute. EMF. EMF 2. Touch the door twice, fingies. <laughs> Dude, this should have been an achievement! Taking a photo of the... Of the Obake dot sh or Obake thingy should be an achievement. Why is that not an achievement? <laughs> it should be. <laughs> Look at that. So yeah, that is uh, Obake figures right there, and it's not a mimic because we didn't see the the orb. So that's the easiest game of our life. Can we do any achievement? No, these achievements for kids or these objectives for kids suck. Uh, we got mirror, right? I kind of wanna do something dumb here. Try and get the ghost photo, and also see the shape shifting because I just really like the shape shifting. So we're gonna trigger a hunt here. We should probably grab a smudge stick, but I'm lazy, so we're not gonna do that. Um, and we're just gonna hopefully survive. Let's pop it up three times and then hopefully don't have it break in our hand okay now you should be able to hunt i don't want to break it because then the hunts are going to be longer i like oh here we go no yes here we go hello hello come on ghost here we go show me the show me the shifting don't be a tiny ghost oh my god it's a tiny ghost you fucking dickhead When are you gonna turn into another ghost? There you go, you saw that? It was the tall lady for a sec there. Okay, there we go. So that's the shape something basically. It turns into a different ghost model for one of the blinks. And it's forced to at least be one blink during a hunt, but every time it has a 6.66% chance of changing into a different ghost model. Um, but they made sure that it happens at least once every hunt. So yeah, there you go. Uh, that is Obake, which means we're gonna get our first Obake right now. We still need to get our first Poltergeist achievement anyway. Because <laughs> that one, you have to survive, which I think is is good. That you can't just die against the ghost. Like, you have to actually properly investigate it. Successfully identify your first Obake and survive. Look at that. Great stuff. Uh, how many do we got right now? We have not gone... Uh, I think we, did we go? I think we went there. Let's go back to Tanglewood now. Um, let me see. There's no achievements for playing on all the maps or playing on big maps, right? That's a bit strange. Um, we have... How many people do have these achievements, by the way? Wait, why is it not showing the... Wait, 0%? What? No one has these? <laughs> I mean, I'm guessing it's it takes a day to update or, update or something. Uh, anyway, so we have 25 out of 54 now. Let's uh, run it back on, on Tangle. Of all time play. I mean, I guess, I guess that is, is if it's like uh, based on every player who's ever played Phasmo, for a long time it's gonna be very low because the vast majority of people that have ever played Phasmo are not playing Phasmo anymore. It's still very popular, but nowhere near as much as like in the first week uh, or like the first month that it came out. Um, so it's going to take a while for people to slowly return. Because just booting up the game is going to give you quite a lot of achievements right away. Just playing a single game gave me like, I don't know, 15 achievements or something. Jesus Christ, can my game stop freezing? <laughs> Goodness gracious. Alright. Come on. Be a poltergeist again. I want to do that so bad. I'm picking up this bone. I don't care. Um, no bad. Oh no, we got this again. I think that means we have to go sicko mode. Do we have objectives for this? Repel, paramic, EMF. I mean, EMF here is going to work just fine. And then we... I don't think we're going to do all the salt because we can do that another time. But I re really hope 
Because just looping it around the kitchen island would show us poltergeist. Because we got two twins in a row, right? What is this gonna... I mean, I guess we already got an Obake. <laughs> so, no poltergeist in a row anyway. Grab this, this. Do you have a take? No, you don't have to take a picture of the bone ever. I don't know why people think that. I mean, you used to do it because the photos... Like, taking a picture of a bone is, is a good photo. It gives you money. And the photos used to get multiplied by the difficulty. Which meant that you would get lots of money for having good photos. But that no longer matters because photos no longer get multiplied by the difficulty. Which means that getting... Like, the only reason you're taking photos is so that you can get the perfect game bonus. And the perfect game bo bonus does get multiplied by the difficulty. Um, so that's... You, you no longer care about the time. Like, this, this is the reason. This is why the system currently is pretty broken. Because you just take 10 salt photos. Or 9 salt photos. Because you do not give a shit that salt photos absolutely blow ass in terms of money per photo. You just care about the fact that you get them 3 star. So you can get the perfect game bonus. Which that then gets mu multiplied by like 4 times. So you get like 50 times 4, 200 for just... I'm dying to- Wait, can I die to demon? Wait. Wait, kill me! Wait, was this the first- This was not the first minute though, right? Wait. No! Wait, is this gonna work? I'm gonna kill myself. I don't think this is the first minute. But I have to try. <laughs> it was a demon, right? How else could I have died? Or how else could that, that, could that happen? Right? I mean, I don't think it's gonna count. That's so stupid! Come on. <laughs> That was obviously not the first minute of the contract, but it was such an early hunt, man. Like, I feel like it should... That's... It's not gonna count, right? How long was that? That was two minutes and 15 seconds! You piece! <laughs> Come on. That is such an impossible achievement to get, dude. Get killed by a team within the first minute? It literally has to... You literally just have to, like... That is so insanely RNG dependent. All right, well... Uh, I had to, I had to try it. There was, <laughs> we had, we had to see if we could get it. Just maybe it was like bugged or it worked in a slightly different way. So yeah, damn, you really just have to get it. You have to get insanely lucky for that to happen. And you have to die. Like, so the hunts take like 30 seconds, right? So if the uh, ghost uses its ability at like 45 seconds, you have to also like immediately run into the ghost and murder your, or like <laughs> get yourself killed, which is very silly. Um, no, zero sanity runs don't matter because it has to be the ghost using its ability. Um, you see, you can see it right here. Um, oh, you can see it in the objective. Get killed by a demon ability within the first minute. So even if you just set your sanity to zero percent um it's not gonna work because that's not an ability you get killed by just the 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 ghost itself that's so uh, silly i wish that i wish it would be a little bit more lenient like get killed within the five first five minutes is that that is still very very unlikely but it's fine it's gonna happen eventually it's just that like, it requires kind of the player to just, like, actively... Oh, I got an early hunt. Let me die. <laughs> like, it's so stupid. Okay, so you touch this door. Okay, it's already been a minute, so we don't have to worry about it anymore. Um, yeah, or just get killed by a demon. Like, just get killed by a demon when your sanity is high or something. I don't know. I I'm honestly fine with the way it works. It's just that it's, like... Like, even... It's basically gonna re just require you to, when it happens, to, like, just walk into the ghost. Because <laughs> the ghost basically has to hunt- it has to use its ability within the first 30 seconds. Because if it uses its ability in the last 50 seconds, or, like, after 50 seconds have passed, you have to get really lucky to even be able to get close to the ghost fast enough for you to die. Right? Where even is this guy? It's not here. I think it's in the, like... Maybe kitchen or living room? Like somewhere around here, foyer. What? Are you some kind of teleporty bitch? What's going on? A basement? Oh, wait, no, you are there. Why isn't the temperature getting any colder? Okay, so it is here. All right, never mind then. Um, you touch this. Let's check for fingies. No fingies. But that doesn't matter much. Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? 
far reaches we got. Wait, you have far? Interesting. Uh, spirit box. No Orbeez, right? That is Orbeez. Never mind. Okay, we got Orbeez. Spirit box ghost shrimps could be mimic. Our first mimic. Let's go. Uh, we're looking for freezing. We didn't see UV unless it was an Obake mimic. Uh, objectives. Motion sensor, ghost event, firelight. Any new ghost is just nice because any new ghost is another achievement. Let's go. Um, so firelight and motion sensor. Sure. We don't need really anything else. Can I place this like outside? Could I get the motion sensor to work over here? Oh, you can't place it? Boring. Oh. Wait, what? Blow it out. <laughs> just like a fucking just go in there. <laughs> a perfect game without entering the house challenge. That would be actually impossible. Alrighty, here you go. I got for you. This is gonna, you, you can just throw that, right? Yeah. And I have this there. Found the ghost. Touch the door again. No fingies. It should have to be freezing here. Ooh. You blew it out. Okay, nice. We just need to get a ghost event. Hey, you piece of shit. Do something. You James Johnson. The fuck is that name? Stupid name. I'm gonna grab salt and a uh, photo cam here. Did I already get the bone? Do you think the ghost will be able to get you out of the house? No. Unless it's a bug, then yes. But not on purpose. And I think that's uh, perfectly fine. There's other ghost hunting games where you're safe, where you're never safe, like Ghost Underscore or something. If you're outside, it can still kill you there. But I think that it's it's the way it works is totally fine in this game. Boom, boom, boom. All right, could you please do a ghost event? Ghost Pants, did you know that if you turn off the light, the ghost is slightly more active? And we didn't get a fucking single polter ability, even though the light was off the whole fucking time. I still can't believe that shit. That's so dumb. Yeah. Go photo there. We didn't... Did I pick up the bone? I I didn't take a photo, but I may have picked it up already. Cody Lab, again, thank you for the 30. I mean, we technically did it, right? But we didn't do it in the... In the fun, exciting way. There we go. I did not get the bone yet. Oh, the rib cage. That was the uh, last game where we died to, uh... <laughs> where we died to demon. On purpose. I wonder if I would have survived that. Probably. Uh, can you give us a sign? Can you just do a ghost event? I could, uh, trigger some activity. Through a fork? What did you just throw? This one? No. Something that the EMF is detecting it, but I don't know. All right, let's pull another one. Just a light on here. We need to be able to loop it here. So what are we trying to figure out? Mare, Yokai, on Rio. We can do the... We have a candle in here. Wait a minute. We can do the, uh, the Yokai test. If we had one blowout, right? So let's do another one. If we... If you get three blowouts and it hunts right away after that, you know it's a... Uh, an on Rio. Oh, hi. That's exactly what I want. Let's go. Ghost photo. Beautiful. I'm gonna walk into the ghost slightly, drain my sanity. That's the door. You should be able to take a photo of that. Nice. How does it not- is it- Why is it not stepping in the salt here? Excuse me? You're being weird. Can you give us a sign? Cortez, thank you for the prime. Hello, buddy. Do it. Blow it out. If, if you're a yokai, you gotta be real angry right now. I guess we could just pull more pins, but I really want to get at least the three blowouts before we do this because the blowouts I think it's it's gonna be a little harder to test that later. Okay, that's another one. Take a photo of that as well. Should be fine. Did you touch this one? Yes. I am getting perfect photos without the salt now. So that is number two, right? So two blowouts. One more blowout, if it hunts right away after that, you know it's an Onrio. And if it doesn't, it shouldn't be an Onrio, but it can sometimes be a little tricky, especially if you're not in the house when it does it. Uh, it's hard to know, so I should back off a little bit because we already know we're gonna get, it's gonna haunt on top of us and absolutely try to murder my ass. 
Like that. <laughs> like that. Come on. Wait, now you're gonna have to go through... This is exactly why, why I don't like the tier 3 salt right here. This is a perfect example of why I personally like to have the tier 2 over the tier 3. Because you s the ghost did a ghost event, which made it go outside of the ghost room. And then... Um, it stepped in the salt, which then repelled it backwards. So in this case, it wanted to return to the ghost room, but instead of being able to return to the ghost room, it got repelled, and then it took longer for it to return. And it also had a chance to, like, change ghost room here. Uh, it blew it out, and it didn't hunt, so it shouldn't be an on Rio, but you never know. All right, I'm just going to start pulling this then. Um, do we need to do anything more? No, we're already good. Because uh, I just want to get a hunt now. That's for yokai. Come on. Sometimes you can't... I guess it also really depends on the sound that the ghost is making. Um, ah! <laughs> I love it, dude. I fucking love yokais. Because there's that one sound that you can barely hear. Um, which I, I guess especially now with the slowly fading in. It's just that, like, the fading makes it really... Makes it really hard to hear how far the ghost is. Because it, it sounds... Like, it doesn't fade in naturally. Rip the achievement. We get the same one. Hey, it's fine. Uh, I, didn't, I wasn't hoping, or I was hoping we wouldn't get all the achievements in one go anyway. You know how boring that would be? Just one and done. We're getting another perfect game, though. And more objectives. Like, if we... I mean, we need to play... We can actually totally get the... It's like 14 games where you do all objectives. But we've already done a lot of objectives. Probably 20 or something. So we need to do, I mean, we need to do like 10 more games, right? Which is a long, or a lot of objectives. But yeah, that's definitely a yokai. He didn't even find us. It was just walking away. Obje uh, achievement for getting the CCTV logo to hit the corner. Come on. No, nope, it's not doing it. Then I can play 26,000 games. Uh, I think they changed the way the, the, the case number works. I think it, I, I guess they had like a counter somewhere else. And I still think the counter isn't right. I don't- I don't think I've actually played that many games. Uh, I've played definitely more than 10,000, but not... I- I doubt more than 20,000. But we'll, well, I'll just ask the devs to see where they got the number from. If it's literally just a count that's been- And you know, we also need to compare it to other people, right? Unless something just bugged out when I installed it on my new computer, but I don't see why that would happen. We've already played Phasmo on the computer, right? Haven't we? And it was just fine? Didn't it reset the number? Uh, let's check this. Okay, we have a garage. Do a demon ability. Come on, do it. Hunt me, kill me. Murder my ass. Do it right now. Oh, there's a boner. All right, I picked up the bone, just so we know for the future. Okay, do it right now. So you need to kind of, if you want to try and get that achievement over time, because usually when I find the ghost room, I immediately leave to grab stuff. If I wouldn't have done that during that demon round, uh... Gonna get killed, and I was gonna be so happy. <laughs> nope, feels bad, man. I didn't get killed. It was zero. Yeah, I don't know. Strange. I mean, if it's still the same, you can fix it. You can fix the case number somewhere. Uh, but I mean, I don't know how it works now. Okay, let's grab all this. It's fine. We'll grab the heck. I forgot about that. Happy to be killed. Yeah, that would be amazing if we can get that objective or achievement because it's going to be so hard to get. We should also test if it's a Banshee. Well, we should probably first... We're still playing multiplayer solo, right? I don't know if you can get the, the like, bait achievement while playing in a multiplayer lobby by yourself. I, f I feel like the devs would have thought about that, but maybe they didn't. I don't know. <laughs> Would it count for Mimic Demon? No, it would have to be a demon. What would be cool is if they... They need to do something similar for a Theon Insanity mode. But they need to definitely have, like, complete a perfect game on Insanity as an achievement. Like, that's a huge mission that they forgot to do anything relating to difficulties except, like, the trophies. Which, I'm gonna make another... I already made a video recently about the trophies, but I'll make another one. Um, hi there. Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? 
Are you friendly? Away. Okay. I'll quickly get the freaking thing here. Dude, 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 dude. Our objectives are cleanse firelight ghost photo. We definitely have we have the photo cam, right? Yeah. Right, shut that shit up. We have uh cold enough temps. Not cold enough. So no freezing, probably. Um can you give us a sign. Can you touch this door? You're gonna be fingies, aren't you? Ah, you're gonna be riding. Should be two photos. Do something else. Was that this? Wait, does the hmm. when I move this? Wait, was it a different item? Wait a minute. I think there is a bug with the with the EMF. <laughs> I think the tier three EMF doesn't update the like. I this was clearly the item that was thrown, right? So I think the bug with the tier three EMF is that if the item moves that has EMF on it, it doesn't actually move on this thing. Cause like I, or oh, maybe it was this. It was probably this. It was probably this. Never mind. It was probably that. Uh, but I guess it just threw both of these. All right, let's put it back on there. I don't know. Cause I, I, I moved the item and it didn't move the EMF, but maybe it threw that instead. Uh, so we got writing. Uh, writing. Cause that, that, that makes it harder to take photos if that's, if that's true. It means it can't be Gorio, which is very nice. This Gorio stinky bitch. Oh, aim at four. No pony, but we already kind of knew that. Still no freezing. No spare box, right? Or no, we did have spare box. Um, we have Dior Mori probably here, which would be nice. No or another poltergeist, which would be the best. Please, please be another poltergeist. Let's uh, already prepare a little bit. I think this is already good enough though, never mind. You know what? Um we shouldn't get curse hunted here. Because if we get curse hunted, it's just gonna lead to the same scenario as before. Uh let's grab a smudge stick though. Please don't be more or, or Dio. I mean I guess it's fine because it's gonna No matter what this is, it's either gonna be an achievement or it's gonna be the best situation, which is poltergeist. So no matter what happens here, we're golden. Let's go. Polter pals. Hey, I need to fucking see it. It's been so long, actually, since I've seen a polter ability, like, with my own two eyes. Uh, because they're so fucking rare, as you saw that game. Holy fuck. Um, okay, here we go. So we pull this up. Should t turn on the light in here. Uh, is this a different ghost room now? This hallway now? Okay. Oh! No. Well. Oh, you bitch head. You, Dio, stinky, stinky Dio. Stinky. Do we need to do any objectives? Cleanse, firelight. Wait, does this does this work? Can you blow up my uh, my lighter? Wait, whoa, 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 whoa! I have a plan. I have a plan. I have a plan. What if we do this? Come over here. Come over here. Blow out this candle. Blow out that candle right there. I'm gonna stun you next to it, and then you blow it out. Do it. Do it! You're not doing it! Fuck you. Do it. The ghosts are not feeling it today. Blow out the candle. You're still close enough. Alright, fuck you. It didn't work. <laughs> okay, we're gonna just run with Dio here, obviously. I mean, Dio's are fun. And this was our first Dio, the... That's why it has the third eye, because the Dio knows where you are no matter what. You can't hide from a Dio. If you're a multiplayer, it's a little stranger, because it only focuses on... Um, it focuses on, like, a random player. Like, I think it's the player that's the closest to it. So, yeah, successfully identified Dio and survive. We are... Almost one more achievement and we're halfway. Let's go. Halfway through all the achievements. Uh, so run it back on Grafton. Maybe we need to go back to where it all started to get lucky with a Poulter. What's the benefit of doing multiplayer solo? Not nothing unless you can get the Banshee because the Banshee achievement specifically says that you need to get killed by a Banshee in multiplayer. So uh, that's why I'm playing multiplayer. So then maybe <laughs> it will give me the achievement. But I 
I don't know if I should kill myself first. I mean, it, it's for science, right? I don't know if I'm properly playing... Uh, I need to test that. After this game, I need to make sure that I'm actually playing multiplayer still. Because I accidentally click single player all the time. What's the best way to practice looping? Um, I mean, just playing the game, I would say. Because, like, I loop every game. Like, just uh, having normal go speed. Making sure you turn on the lights. I think the best tip I can give you for when you start doing uh, uh, looping... Is to, or like the absolute requirement when you start learning it is turning on the light in the room that you want to loop. Like if you want to loop here, so basically the way it works, I mean, you can just loop standing up, but then the ghost is eventually going to get so fast that it will kill you unless you have a smudge that can run away. So what you do is you crouch down. So you just crouch down and you just look. Basically, all you're trying to do is just make sure the ghost is chasing you. So, oh, there it is. Uh, what you don't want to do is go so fast that the ghost will double back. So let's say the ghost is looping this way. If I am like running around it uh, and I get this point and the ghost is there, it'll then go back because it will take the shortest route. So basically what you're always doing is you're like going to a vantage point, waiting for the ghost to get like right over there. Then you start moving. Then you go to another vantage point and you wait for the ghost to get over to the right spot and you just keep like ping ponging it that way. But anyway, the ghost was like over here. Uh, this one right here. Are you in here? You are in this room. There's also monkey paws. Stinky. I don't like that. Is that back here? That is back here. You threw the bear. I mean, loop of the Dio. You can't set the ghost, though. Like, that's not a thing. And especially, like, people were saying, allow us to set the ghost with custom mode. I, I think that's not. I think that would make it boring for, like... I don't know. Like, it, it's kind of mad. Because it, it would create a weird situation where you could, like, practice the game infinitely to get, like, all see all the abilities. And it kind of voids the, the need of actually having to play the game to see cool shit. <laughs> like, obviously, they could just... They could make it so that you can't get uh, achievements while playing custom and you set the ghost. They could make it so that you get no money, right? But I still feel like... Just, like, kind of completely invalidates the way of playing the game. You could also always set it the friendly ghost if you really want to just experience abilities without being danger without it being dangerous. Uh, I mean, I wouldn't have them make it so that if you set it the friendly ghost, the ghost stops doing its abilities. That just, would just be confusing. Uh, we grab this. Do we need any objectives? Fire light? We can do that. Uh, actually, photo cam is more important. Would be sick if there was like a. Would be sick if you could buy upgrades for items, like you could buy an upgrade for the night vision where it has like a photo attachment, and then you can click a button and it takes a photo. That'd be sick. What kind of upgrades could you have? Like a, a recording upgrade for the spirit box, where you can record, where you can throw it in a room, and it like continuously at like. I don't know, records activity or something, and then you can come back later and listen to it. I don't know how that would work, but I feel like there's there's a lot of things that they could do. Brandon, thank you for the $5 donation. Top three favorite or least favorite ghost type? I mean, least favorite is not even not even a question. It's Yure, Gorio, and... Yure, Gorio... Shade is pretty stupid. I think Yure and Gorio are just like so far ahead of any other ghost in terms of annoyance that the others don't even really get on the <laughs> get on the list. And then in terms of fun ghost, Oni, Thay, um, Mimic is really fun. I like all the ghosts that are like kind of cuckoo. They're crazy. They're losing the damn mind. Did we see Orbeez by the way? I was not paying attention. Um, you hate mares. Mares can be. Oh yeah, there were orbs. Uh, go storbs. Okay, turn that shit back on. Uh, is it freezing? It's cold, but no freezing. Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Where are you? Are you here? From behind. From behind. So once again, could be a mimic. Stop being yokai. If you're another fucking yokai, I'm gonna lose it. No more yokai, please. Um, can you touch this door? I touched the door a while ago. We have a... Monkey Paul, right? We could wish for activity, but I don't think that's a very good idea. Uh, fine. Let's just get that firelight. 
Firelight and Salt, even though it's not gonna really help getting a ghost event. I mean, we could wish to see the ghost, right? And then just run away. We did literally just wait. I, I need to do science. It's science time. Um, we grab this and just light. We only need to get one blowout. Oh, uh, well, actually, on Rio is an option. So let's actually just grab the lighter so we can relight the... Well, what I want to try is just be far away from the ghost and ask to see the ghost and see if that counts as a ghost event. Probably. Because it doesn't matter if you're close to the ghost for that to be completed. It's not like when you're in the truck and your friend gets the ghost event, you don't get the objective, right? You always get it. Uh, place this. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, blew it out and did all kinds of stuff. That's first blowout. Important. So let's, let's test this. So if I move this closer. Yeah, right? Is it? I don't know if it is. Wait, what? What did it throw there? It keeps like baiting me with other items. Oh, it's throwing something. Here we go. So this thing, right? So right now I'm on top of it. If I move it, does it move the... Yeah, it does. Okay, so it, it updates. It updates. Just wanted to make sure that everything is working as intended. I mean, I don't, I don't see why it wouldn't work. Okay, that was second blowout. Um, get ready for third blowout. We might have to run the fuck out of here. If it's on Rio. Come on. It's gonna hunt. Do it. What's your name? Kenny. Kenny. If you say the ghost name, it gets, like, slightly active, or slightly more active for a little bit. We don't need this anymore. This shit is annoying. Kenny, can you give us a sign? Scrub up up to give it a 70. Can you do something? We got three photos here, right? Three. Uh, four more photos. Do it. You were blowing it out like crazy before. So, mannequins, by the way, they can't move while you're looking at them. Which is... I don't know why... So mannequins can teleport around, but only when you're not there. Which I don't really know why. Because it's not like the mannequins can't move while you're looking at them. They can still rotate while you're looking at them. Like, if I'm looking at this and the ghost decides to teleport it away, instead of teleporting it, it'll rotate the mannequin in place. Can you do it? Come on. Give us a... Give us a science... Science... Uh, Do it. Help us with science here. Uh, it didn't. It didn't hunt, so it should be no. No on Rio here. All right. Well, I guess then it's time for going stupid. We still didn't take the monkey paw. Can do that. Okay. Sharon, sanity below twenty-five. Ghost events. Let's just do the thing, right? Let's do the. We can't really do yokai test then, because I'm not gonna be stupid here. We. Oh hi. Well, I guess we don't have to if you're just gonna do a ghost event. All right. <laughs> well, never mind then. I guess I'll just do that instead. Um. Now we just need to. I don't want to wish for sanity because that's gonna move the ghost. Um. We could wish the ghost was trapped. Where do we wish that? In here, right? I wish the ghost was trapped. It's gonna lock that door. Doesn't even lock this door. You see how bugged this shit is? <laughs> oh wait, no, it does lock these, does it? No, it doesn't. Why is this so stupid? It's so strange. So the only, like in in Willow, it locks the doors that are like in the room, but here it doesn't even lock the doors in the room. I I don't know why it just completely skips out on that. All right, well in a minute we're gonna get a hunt here. Which we're gonna test for a yokai during that. Oh, no, it's not hunting. So don't be another yokai. Please just be a mare. Because we've already had like three yokais <laughs> during this, all of this. Yokai is my most common ghost today. Uh, most deaths of day. I still love that. Love that change. Favorite room changes 1100 interactions, 125,000. Don't mind. <laughs> what the fuck? Distance travel. So I have traveled f way more than the. This is like 1700 kilometers. That's crazy. 
All right, ghost. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. All right, it's not a yokai this time. Let's go. Wait. Yes, it's a mare then? Unless it's a broken on Rio. Which is also very possible. It's not getting any faster. So we need to, we could try the light switch trick. So you see how I'm like, I'm like feathering my sprint to make sure I don't get too far ahead of the ghost so it doubles back for the person that was asking, how do you, how do you loop a, a little bit ago? So for the mare, you can flick light switches close to the ghost every now and then to see if it instantly turns off the light switch. Giggles! I want to take this photo and die. Wait, where was the giggle? Creepy. What else? Does it giggle twice? Wait, oh, it rotated the head. How nice. <laughs> I did all the creepy stuff. So we're flicking light switches, basically. You just... Every 10 seconds, you... F oh, God. You take me to dinner first. Jesus Christ. Uh, the ghost can giggle, yeah. We're flicking. I need to get a, um, a smudge stick or I'm gonna die here. Unless I have a hiding spot here. Okay, well. <laughs> I am indeed going to die here. <laughs> so you have to make sure not to hold this door if you're doing this, what I'm doing right now. Because if you're holding this, you actually are more likely to die. Because the ghost will just always touch it. I think the ghost is upstairs, so I can just run. All right, that was not too bad. Um, I don't know how I live. That's just, you gotta break line of sight. We only had a one second grace period there, right? Because I, oh no, 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 I didn't break the curse possession. If uh, if that was like anything but monkey paw, I would have definitely died there. Uh, yeah, I'm assuming it's not on Rio because we got three blowouts and it didn't hunt. So it should be mare here. It could technically be on Rio. Let's just do this test because if it is on Rio, then we know that the three blowout isn't uh, 100% reliable, but I think it's gotta be a mirror. I wanted to do the test with the... with the light switch, but whatever. Uh, let's see. Are we gonna get an achievement? The breaker shuts off. Yeah, the breaker got turned off. It doesn't matter for the light switch, uh, test with the mirror, but it... I mean... Oh! <laughs> that should be an achievement, dude. It's that I mean, we were saying this, but what has to be an achievement is getting trolled by the mimic. Being against a mimic and getting it wrong has to be added as an achievement. Because it's not even like you don't even like you will just get that to happen by just playing the game. Because it will happen at least once. Like you'll either get like an early hunt one time, hear that it's a thay, and be like, all right, let's go. I got a thay. And then you leave and it ends up being a mimic. I completely forgot that I even had to check for fingerprints. You piece of garbage. Imagine it turned into a yokai there. That would have been even more of a bamboozle. I mean, that explains why we didn't get the light switch ability to trigger. Uh, Alright, we're gonna have to be a little bit more vigilant. Get bamboozled by the mimic. Yeah, bamboozled has to be an achievement. What the fuck? That is disgusting, by the way. What's in there? You fucking mopping up shit? Absolutely nasty. Oh, I heard a ghost. Yucky Bucky. That in here. Uh, where was that? There. Knocked on the window as well. Did you? Uh, let's just throw this here. Look for fingies right away so we don't get fucked by that later. If it's a mimic. The ghost took a spooky dookie in the mop. <laughs> spooky dookie. Is that what happened in the Maple Lodge, uh, toilet? You know, the toilet that's just, like, freaking covered in shit? We got Orbeez. Uh, we need to... I should have grabbed the uh, glow stick right away. It's nice that I was, uh, didn't prestige yet. Because if I would have prestige, I wouldn't... It would have been a while before I got, uh, some of the, like, unlock all items achievements and stuff. We still need... We still need one more to be halfway. Come on. We have fingies. We have fingies. Alrighty. Good shit. Where are you? Fingies and orbs. Again. Could still be a uh, spirit box or freezing. Where are you? Or the mimic. Uh, 
because Mimic is a piece of garbage. Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? It is a Mimic! <laughs> Let's go, dude! <laughs> Thank you so much. I, I fucked it up once, so we get it immediately again. <laughs> Let's go, dude. Mimic, two in a row, baby. Double Mimic. <laughs> the, see? I didn't... I'm so glad. The, the, the one time I'm happy with a repeat of Ghost. Any cleanse, Paramike, escape the ghost. We can... Uh, we don't even need this. Cleanse and Paramike. You know what? We got this. We can get the... I mean, I want to get these objectives, because eventually we need to get the... Optional objective thingy. So we're gonna just smudge it right now. Which should give us that one. Check. And then we get this in five, four, three, two. Can you do it? Come on! Whisper. I'm gonna count down. Three, two. Two piece. I need to get my head cam. I forgot it. Ultra explosion by Mimic. I mean, that's not gonna... That, that would be actually forever. You would wait forever on that. Like, holy shit. That'd be insane. Uh, we only took one photo, right? Let's just put this out here. Just in case it hunts, it's gonna be a little slower. Uh, we need to escape it still. Our cursed possession was... Do we see it even? Oh, through something. I hate that you can hear the dots through the... I mean, it makes sense, because it's, like, loud. But it just shouldn't be this loud. Also, when are they fucking gonna add that the, you can pause the dots, man? Like, there's so many small quality of life changes that should be so easy to implement. And I was really hoping that we'd see at least a few of those in this small update. I mean, I'm still happy with the... With the Steam achievements, right? Steam achievements are fun as hell. Come on. I'm gonna count down. Ten. Well, I guess... Just do it, man. Guess it's not gonna do it fast enough. Uh, we could do it during a hunt as well. Where's the bone? Did we already get the bone? I don't think we did. No. Complete a contract in six minutes and sixty-six seconds. How are you supposed to do? How are you supposed to do that? I mean, I guess if you do it seven minutes and six seconds. My bone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. Okay, where was my curse? Curse is gonna be in the basement or some dumb guard. Never mind, is this guy? Uh, I'm just gonna pull it. Okay, well that worked fast. We got a whisper during the hunt. Let's go. What did I tell you? Wait, it's a mimic yokai. <laughs> mimic yokai, dude. That's so funny! <laughs> Dude, that's stupid as hell. We could have actually been trolled here. Fuck you! Take the picture, man! I actually... This is possible. I'm gonna die. Oh no. Okay, I lived. I did not get the picture at all. I got an interaction and a voodoo. Wait, how did I get a three-star interaction there? Interesting. I tried. I tried so hard. Odd spooping in, in 4K. I didn't get him though. Alrighty, well that was a mimic. Should be. I'm like, no, we're playing nightmare mode. Okay, we get a we get a rematch and we did all the objectives. That was the main thing I, main thing I wanted to do. Uh, you don't have to it can be grayed out and you'll still get it correct as long as the circle is around it, by the way. There we go. Successfully identified the Mimic for the first time. What's our uh, weekly challenge, by the way? I didn't even look at it. Slow and steady. The ghost may be slow, but it's angry. Keep It's a get one win. No, I don't want to do that shit. All right. Uh, give me... I want to get over halfway. Let's do Ridge View here. We're going to get over halfway the achievements. We got 27 right now, which is exactly halfway. We still have so many ghosts left. This... So... Why? Why are you stuck? Uh, we got Donna. Okay, click. Uh, this has been way more fun than I expected. This has honestly been uh, like such a neat little small update. Having these things to, to have fun with. Uh, I'm just gonna throw some stuff in here real quick. I mean, 
Imagine I have a demon now and I would have missed out on the demon achievement. Feels bad, man. The challenge is so easy. Yeah, it looks pretty easy. Grab this. Grab already three of these. I mean, it's... It's probably... It's gonna be like, uh... Can you identify the ghost during the hunt? I mean, I guess it's slow, right? So that's gonna be slightly... Slightly more tricky. Alright. Already got some stuff in here. Already got the bone. I'm just gonna pick that up. I don't care. The only reason picking up the bone can be annoying is because you don't remember later that you did it. Man, they think of the $5 donation. Shout out to the Twitch chat for always saying hi to YouTube. <laughs> Let's go, Twitch chat. We need more ways to piss off the ghost. I mean, there is. That make the ghost real angry. I've always kind of liked how you do have influence over the ghost, like making it more aggressive by talking to it. But it's not like to the point where you're just like the puppet master of the ghost. But then again, with the cursed possession, honestly, at a high level, like playing at a high level, you kind of are the puppet master. Like you can really control so much about the game if you use the cursed possession correctly. Did I hear something up here? Aha! Touch the door in here. Yes. Okay, then. Kind of crazy. Achievements are here. Yes, they are. Hi. Right. You're... I need to get the ghost photo, don't I? Oh, no, I don't. You're floating. <laughs> what? <laughs> no heartbeat? No nothing? Just freaking awkward silence? <laughs> this is fucking cursed. Just having a polite staring contest. The fuck? Right. Uh, the hell was over there? What's that light? Oh, it's the street light. Okay, no Orbeez this time, so no mimic. Let's go. Uh, place that. Want to get the plans repel in 25? These are huge, easy objectives. Floating ghosts. They're gonna add floating ghosts or something. They said that they might. I mean, this is something that they. They said they might do. They didn't say for sure, but they might change the, the hunts, the way the hunts work in the future, in the future, or the way hunts work in the future, and stuff that you could think. Like this is just pure speculation. The one of the examples that they gave was like, um, they might change ghost models. For example, like, there might be a floating ghost model, and obviously you're not going to be able to hear the footsteps of a floating ghost model, so then it's going to be completely quiet, except the hunting noise, which is going to make, like, the miling even more deadly. Than and it's going to be so fucked up, man. Uh, that's, that's, I guess the miling doesn't... Does the miling not affect the, the sound of the ghost? It's mostly footsteps, right? Or only footsteps, even? Where are you? So, yeah, that wouldn't matter too much. Are you here? Are you close? But it would be very, very scary if that was a thing. Did you touch anything? I don't know if you did. Maybe. Uh, or, what, like, you know how in, uh, in like, stealth games? Or, like, uh, Outlast Trials or something? The enemies have, like, they're, like, humans. Or, like, they're, they're, they work like humans where they just have like senses like hearing and eyes so they can see ahead of them they can't see behind them because what's really interesting what's really kind of stupid about the ghost in phasmo but it, it's fine because they're like they're ghosts right they're like ethereal beings they, they they can do whatever the fuck they want but ghosts will detect you even if they're like looking the complete other way like the ghosts don't have a vision cone they just have like they, they just see in every direction so what might what you could potentially see in the future if they like want to make it more realistic is that the ghosts like have a vision cone and then you could like actually do stealth or something um but that would at the same time be kind of broken because that would mean that like hiding from the ghost could potentially be even easier i don't know it's just uh would be interesting for sure but i don't know how balanced it would be take these photos Anything else? So you're out here, huh? Being a sneaky little bitch. You're still in this room. Very cold here. Where are Stop you? Behind. Okay. 
<laughs> spirit box, yes. Uh, are you gonna be... Oh, wait, spirit box and Yuffie. But you're not gonna be a mimic, right? Cause no orbs? Whoops, that was already on. Hey, stop! Yeah, no orbs. Okay, fi finally no mimics, so we're gonna get another phantom or a poltergeist again! Wait, that would be the perfect one right now, please. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, we have photo cam. Here, give us a sign. Wait, our cursed possession was summoning circle, no? Wait, we can totally test that. Let's see. That would be sick. Orbs? No, I think those were the street lights. I, I thought I saw them as well. Uh, this would be amazing. Please, please, please. Like that. <laughs> Don't be a phantom again. No. Isn't this one, one of the first ghosts we had? Was phantom like this? You're you're jinxing it, chat. It's gonna be phantom now. You've done it. You've done did it. Uh, repel. Okay, grab this just for the objective, and then. I mean, I guess we don't even need to get a hunt, right? We could just do this. Because it's literally just get take a photo, and then we know. We don't even have to do a a hunt check. Because. It can't be a mimic because no orbs. We should play FNAF VR DLC. There's DLC. Yeah. What? Um, let's see. Here we go. Please don't kill me. Wait, I need this. Uh, this thing. Oh come on, you dickhead! What? I guess I'll just fuck. Dang garbage. It's something. I guess I'll just do a hunt test then. Okay, here we go. Let's do, we're looking for phantom. No, you bitch! Why? You suck. It's throwing so much too. God damn it! I was really hoping for <laughs> that. Would have been sick. We've been jinxed. All right. Well, at least we didn't even have to. We got the repair. We got everything. Look at that. All of the objectives. We didn't even. Uh, didn't even have to light the summoning circle. All right, we're we're gonna have to play another game because we're not getting over halfway through. <laughs> Come on. Give us a um, demon again. Do can we get the die in one minute achievement? That'd be sick. I'm gonna be looking out for that for a long time now. Uh, did you do any abilities? You did zero abilities. I don't know what's going on with the... Oh, hey, I'm not getting any abilities of ghosts today. We're gonna run it Willow. I think we've only done one match on Willow. We're almost level 100 as well. Yeah, the blinking was very infrequent, which is how you can tell that it's a... That it's a phantom. Oh, we're almost at 27,000, by the way. Uh, grab this. I'm really curious how this happened. Is anyone asking? I'm curious if they said anything about it. I'm not seeing anyone even comment on this. Am I the only one affected by this? All right, I'm not seeing anyone say anything. It did not change the fog much. It's still very foggy, which is... I think the fog is not a bug. This is intended. It's in, like fog in real life is hard to see through as well. That's like the idea of fog, right? Um, Soul Tyrant, thank you for the donation. I'm doing mighty fine myself. Hope you're doing well. Uh, yeah, the fog is very foggy. So... Cursed item, no monkey paw. So the timer of the match only starts once you unlock the door, by the way. Okay, it's in the hallway in the basement. That will be a hard spot for Poltergeist, but I'll take it all the same. As long as it's something new. It's gonna be such a grind to get all those ghost object or achievements. I guess I'll just leave this here, because we know it's here. Oni can be tricky. What's with the Oni? Oni blinking. So the problem, but so there's a huge difference for me between Oni and Phantom blinking. Phantom blinking, you instantly notice, and the reason you instantly notice it is because it's very like it changes the way you have to play the game. It makes it so much harder to loop the ghost and to run away from it properly, which means your brain instantly goes like, "Holy shit, why can't I see it? Oh wait, it's a phantom." Whereas with the Oni, that's the complete opposite. You can always see the ghost, which makes looping looping way easier. So you're kind of just like, uh, you don't register it because, like, 
It's just like, oh, nice, I can see this ghost, but you, that your brain doesn't go like, oh, wait a minute, that actually means I know what ghost it is. I, I run into that issue all the time. Like for some reason, it's, it's easier to notice because you like, like, I also feel just the difference is more subtle between, like, Phantom is way more obvious than Oni, even if you were just actively looking out for it. There's a new no-key bug. Is it in VR walking through the door? Because that's always just the bug. You could technically even do it, like, have someone go into the map in VR, then unlock the door with the monkey paw, and then the VR player leaves, and, like, it's all weird. Um... No PC, what is it then? What is it? I mean, we've... I think currently the only one is for... Oh, there you go. We got him. Where are you? Are you here? It's funny how... The... The no-key glitch, like... The history of the no-key glitch. I should make a video about it one time. <laughs> like... How many... Because there's been so many different ways of us, like, glitching into the house. It's so funny. Um, where are you? And some of them are absolutely insane. Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Are you French? Are you pizza? Are you grandma? Do I like VR? No, I absolutely hate VR. VR is not fun to play. This game was originally supposed to be an only VR game, by the way. Wait, did you turn on the light in here? Oh, wait, what? What is that light then? Is it in here? There's no light, but why is there a light? Um, I'm not seeing any orbs. I'm not seeing any spirit box. So you can click orbs and spirit box and rule out these guys. So none of that. I mean, maybe is it freezing? You touch the door. Very important. This one. Gonna be fingies, right? Yes. Okay, fingies. Step one. I have a photo can. Oh. Very short step. It's freezing. It's not freezing. Are you gonna write in this book or are you gonna do dots or something? Could be a Gorio. Go get that shit over with. Get Gorio out of the way. I'll place the. This is where I need a tripod. Which I never pick up because I don't like tripods. Because they make the camera screen smaller. The front door with- Yeah, there's like stupid bugs with like desync and multiplayer. I think that one still might be in the game. Where, uh, for some reason sometimes, uh, the- the lobby or the game gets DC'd. Or not DC'd, but gets desynced between players. And objects will be like floating around for someone else and it will all like will be super, super weird. Alright, can you give us Gorio dots? You know you're gonna do it. It's the time to stay hydrated, everyone. I mean, maybe not. We can even see the motion sensor from here. You could also throw the tier one e or thermo in front and test for freezing. You could do all kinds of stuff. Uh, firelight. Check. And parabolic microphone. I will just light this here. Because it's not going to be on Rio anyway. So just light it here and walk there. Because we only need to blow it out. We need to have it blow out the candle only once. And this will never go out. So if you just light it in the truck, you don't even need your lighter to get that objective. Do achievements work now? Yes, they do. They were just testing them before. I w it was so funny because I was looking at my... Like every time I would open Steam. And then I would like go to my Steam library. It would show me like... Because uh, I'm friends with DK and CJ on Steam. Uh, it would be like... DK has just gotten like f 300 achievements for Phasma in one day. I'm like, you piece of shit. Can you give me a sign? He have, even has achievements that don't even exist anymore. The like 20 uh, prestige achievements, he got that one. Uh, hello? Are you still here? Can you talk to me? It blew it out. Perfect. Watch this door. We can get a... Shouldn't be very low sanity, right? 
can even tick two, right? Yes. If the airball goes to that. No, Oni. Can't be Oni anyway. Right. Oh! Let's go! Fuck it, bitch! Hey, maybe this is a demon? Now I will be very sad. And maybe dead. Uh, I got the ghost photo, though. Let's go. Is it freezing? It is freezing. Okay, well, no orbs, right? So no mimic? Okay, no. don't have to deal with Gorios here. I could die if it hunts when I get to the back here. That'd be so annoying. Okay, run away. Okay, no, so no mimic. So it's, uh, it's gonna be something new. That's for sure. Gonna be Jin, Demon, or Hantu. Can actually get a demon correct this time. You missed freezing breath. I did not miss it. I'm not even paying attention to it anymore. Because it doesn't matter. It's a lazy demon. I mean, you need some real... Uh, excited demon for you to get that one achievement. Okay, we still need the... We'll just grab some of these. Uh, actually... I mean, we're not gonna get a perfect game anyway. It's fine. Yeah, it doesn't... It doesn't show freezing anymore. It's still getting people to this day. I like this... <laughs> I mean, it looks way better now, right? It looks look so shitty. Not hunting, right? This... Hi! You spooky bitch! Yeah, let's do the, uh... Was our curse possession? Did we even see it? Have we ever gotten tarot cards today? You have not gotten tarot cards today. Was it mirror? It was mirror, right? Didn't we see the... Oh, there we go. Well, never mind then. Even... Jin here? Jin test is easy. Hey! Should speed up from there, right? It's only gonna do it very shortly, though. Okay, so Jin. You heard I was sped up there for a sec? Got him. Uh, Alrighty, he's busy. Jin this time. New ghost. Unlocked. Let's go. And we're more than halfway through the achievements. We're crazy with it found someone use your name you can report them if you report someone um because they are using hacks to do that because you can't name yourself after content creators uh because they obviously don't want people to like think they're dealing with someone that they like and then they like give them they can get like scammed or something like obviously it's dangerous for people to believe they're dealing with someone that they're not uh that was a gin easy peasy um so they have a they have a system in place for that to not be allowed, but I think with hacks you can bypass that. But anyway, that was uh, we are now twenty eight even. Oh wait, what? What was the other achievement we just got? Excuse me. What did we just get as well? Oh, we got the mimic before. Wait, really? I thought we were at twenty six just like before this one, and then we got twenty eight. I guess it didn't update yet. So yeah, any what other achievements have we not gotten? The weekly task, man. This one is gonna take fucking forever. Um, getting 10 weekly tasks that I, it, it literally just take 10 weeks. So we're going to be di diligently doing the weekly challenge. Otherwise, we're never going to get that. And then we have so many more ghost objectives that we're definitely going to be doing. And then in terms of our hidden objectives, we actually got three out of six hidden objectives. This one, we didn't get a revenant. We're going to be getting that as well. And uh, we didn't even see a banshee. So yeah, I think that's going to be our first video on the achievements. There's obviously going to be more. And we're just going to be getting achievement in every single video. I think the next video it's going to be doing the weekly which will give us one of the weekly objective uh, or weekly uh achievements as well so you're going to be seeing that tomorrow or something thank you so much for watching over on youtube if you're not subscribed please do so if you like the video like it if you dislike it dislike it and if you want to join the love the game is here in chat you can join us over at twitch.tv slash hit the link in the description down below thank you so much then i'll see you in the next one bye guys have a good one bye bye